Chapter 1001 Seducing My Woman Translator Born to be Xiao Ziyan looked at Long Chen oddly. His words had sounded so logical to her, but that evil light in his eyes could not be concealed. She wasn't able to tell whether Long Chen was being serious or not. Brother Long, I'm being serious, but you, Xiao Ziyan shook her head. I'm also being serious. Let me tell you, I've killed I've seen many people. With just a glance, I can see through the disguise of someone like Wei Chang He. He's the kind of person who can't be saved. Even if his master was a saint, he couldn't be changed. So if you want to handle him, either kill him, or scare him witless. Don't give him any opportunity or hope. Otherwise, well, just enjoy having him running after you all the time, said Long Chen lazily. He had seen this kind of situation far too many times. Xiao Ziyan loathed Wei Chang He, but she also didn't want to completely break things off by hurting his feelings. She hoped Wei Chang He would figure it out and back off on his own. But how could that be possible? In any case, he had already laid out the facts in front of her, and he couldn't be bothered to say any more. Whether or not she wanted to listen was up to her. It didn't have one spirit stone's relation to him. With his hands on the back of his head, he lay lazily on the rock, looking up at the floating clouds in the sky. He suddenly felt himself to be much older than before. If someone as beautiful and gentle as Xiao Ziyan had been placed in front of him a few years ago, he'd have definitely wanted to pursue her. But now he didn't dare to touch such matters. Seeing Long Chen ignore her, Xiao Ziyan frowned slightly. But that expression on his face seemed extremely natural. In fact, he seemed to merge with heaven and earth without the slightest discord. Is this the legendary realm of being one with the Dao? But that's impossible. He couldn't have reached such a high realm at his age. Xiao Ziyan's heart shook, but she quickly brushed aside that idea. Long Chen fundamentally wasn't someone that could be on that level. Brother Long, have you always been this unconstrained? She asked. Hmm, pretty much. No one knows when they'll die. So why bother being overcautious? My brothers and I prefer the feeling of being free. Long Chen picked a blade of grass from the ground and stuck it in his mouth, randomly chewing on it. Brother Long truly is unique. In all my years, I've never seen anyone else like you. Xiao Ziyan's mouth curled into a small smile. His appearance of not caring about anyone or anything, that free and unconstrained manner, was novel to her. Long Chen shook his head. During the registration, I saw that your bone age is 21 years. Although you're only one year younger than me, in my eyes, all of you are just children. Are you mocking me for being immature? Xiao Ziyan frowned. Yes. Long Chen nodded. You. Since Brother Long has nothing to say to me, I'll say my goodbyes, said Xiao Ziyan angrily. She immediately got up and walked away. Long Chen didn't apologize or say anything. He just indifferently watched the battle involving over a thousand people now. It was definitely lively. Long Chen, tell me, just how am I immature? Xiao Ziyan had walked far away, but the more she thought about it, the angrier she became. She was kind to others, and she was also beautiful. No one had ever evaluated her this way. She felt a bit unwilling and she returned. Long Chen almost laughed. Looking at her, he asked, Don't you feel like your current conduct is very immature? Xiao Ziyan blushed. She truly did feel like her current actions were a bit immature. She didn't know just how to retort. She couldn't leave, and she couldn't stay. Being called immature isn't a bad thing. What's wrong about being immature? People like me don't have the qualifications to be immature. So you should feel blessed, said Long Chen. What are you talking about? Long Chen looked at Xiao Ziyan. Seeing her curious expression combined with her beauty, his heart jumped and he looked away. Xiao Ziyan was truly beautiful, but she didn't give him that special feeling. He decided not to tease her anymore. Noveloon.com seeing Long Chen's expression suddenly change and his eyes look away. Xiao Ziyan quickly understood what had happened and smiled. Brother Long, it seems you haven't answered me yet. There's no need to answer. You can guess it. If I was immature, I would lose my life. So you're much more blessed than me. When I call you immature, I almost feel envious. Sighed Long Chen. That forlorn tone of his caused Xiao Ziyan to laugh. She found that talking to him was very interesting. He seemed like a magnanimous person who she didn't need to have any taboos around when talking to. Although sometimes his words were so direct that she was unwilling to accept them. It was still interesting. It should be my turn to ask you some questions. Right. Asked Long Chen suddenly. If you have anything you'd like to ask, go ahead. Then tell me, what's the power balance like in the Southern Sea? Are there righteous and corrupt paths? Do you have large fights? Or asked Long Chen. 
Long Chen was truly curious about this. During the registration, he had seen that the hundreds of thousands of disciples from the other regions were nothing more than unreliable brats. There were few real experts. Just how had such people survived the battles between the righteous and corrupt paths? It was inconceivable. As a result, Xiao Ziyan's reply made him dumbfounded. In reality, the Southern Sea, Western Desert, and Northern Source had too many powerful sects for the corrupt path to handle. Taking the Southern Sea as an example, there were seven sects no weaker than the branch Zuan Shindeo sect there. Although they had some conflicts with the corrupt path, there weren't many large-scale battles. The corrupt path was heavily suppressed by the righteous path, and they were only able to make some stealthy moves. As soon as the righteous path sensed them, they would flee. A large battle between the two sides rarely occurred. It might be decades before such a battle occurred, and their generation hadn't risen during that time. There hadn't been any battles for them to accumulate experience. All their battles were on the martial stage and not the battlefield. When Long Chen asked about the immemorial path, Xiao Ziyan said that there had been a few battles inside. However, everyone had been focused on searching for treasures and opportunities, and no full-blown war had started. Long Chen was dumbfounded. So the rest of the world was so peaceful. Then it was no wonder all these disciples were laughably immature. What's with that look? Asked Xiao Ziyan upon seeing Long Chen's bitter smile. It's nothing. I just feel like life is bitter. Sister Ziyan, how much do you know about the Central Plains? Do you know about any peak powers? Asked Long Chen. Perhaps one of these peak powers might be related to his origins. Xiao Ziyan shook her head. I'm ashamed to say that I don't know much. All I've heard of is the seven danger zones, six great alliances, five divine halls, four gates, three sects, two palaces, and one valley. There's this many? Is the Zuan Shindeo sect one of those three sects? Long Chen's eyes almost popped out of his head. How could there be this many powers? Well, this is all that I've heard of. I'm not sure about the exact truth. The Central Plains is just too big, sighed Xiao Ziyan. According to Xiao Ziyan, that was nothing more than a phrase she had heard. Now that they had come to the Zuan Shindeo sect, they had confirmed its existence. But the others' powers were nothing more than stories to her. At their current level, they weren't strong enough to learn such things. In fact, just the Zuan Shindeo sect was a power that countless geniuses longed to join. The Central Plains was just too big. Long Chen took a deep breath. He knew he still had a long, long way to go. What he needed to do was continue getting stronger. The peak of the martial path was even further than he had thought. Originally, he had thought that after arriving at the Zuan Shindeo sect, he wouldn't be that far off from the secret of his origins. But Xiao Ziyan's words were like a bucket of ice water falling over his head. He had been too naive. Brother Long, what is it? Asked Xiao Ziyan. Long Chen rubbed his face and shook his head. He sighed. It's nothing. I just realized it will probably take a few years for me to dominate the Central Plains. Xiao Ziyan almost laughed. Anyone who could say they would dominate the Central Plains was definitely crazy. He hadn't even passed the trial to join the sect. Long Chen laughed. It's best to have dreams. After all, what if you achieve it? Fine. I won't laugh at a madman like you. Laughed Xiao Ziyan. I've had plenty of people laughing at me. As long as they don't touch my reverse scale, they can laugh all they want. I have my own thoughts and targets. Each little bit of effort brings me one step closer to my goal. I'll reach that height sooner or later, said Long Chen confidently. I will be on my way. Do, do you want to come with me? Or Xiao Ziyan didn't want to keep arguing over this problem with Long Chen. After waiting this long, Wei Chang He should be far ahead. She should start moving. After talking to Long Chen this much, her worries had lessened a great deal. Although she hadn't thought of how exactly she would handle Wei Chang He, she didn't feel as vexed as before. That was why she asked Long Chen if he wanted to come with her. She felt like he was an interesting person, and going together should be even more interesting. Long Chen, you eastern wasteland dog, how dare you seduce my woman? Long Chen was just about to decline her invitation when a furious row rang out. A figure charged over from the distance. That person was Wei Chang He. He had been searching for Xiao Ziyan this entire time so they could talk. But Xiao Ziyan had been intentionally hiding from him. Just as he was searching, he saw Xiao Ziyan smiling and talking with a man on a distant mountain top. His fury immediately soared. Furthermore, when he saw that it was a pretty boy like Long Chen, his fury soared even higher. Wei Chang He, what are you doing? Shouted Xiao Ziyan upon seeing him charging over. Scram. I'll kill this bastard. Roared Wei Chang He. 
Water key erupted out of him, forming waves in the air. With a furious roar, he sent a palm at Long Chen. Fuck off. Pow. In front of Xiao Ziyan's stunned eyes, a hand viciously struck Wei Chang He's face. Chapter 1002 Direct Slap Translator Born to be Long Chen had attacked second but struck first. His movements were smooth and graceful, complementing the especially resounding sound. Boom. Wei Chang He smashed into a mountain, causing it to crumble. Long Chen had seen a hundred openings in Wei Chang He's attack. It was like Wei Chang He was asking to be slapped. If he didn't help him out, he'd feel bad. Talent was not the same as power. He had such immense power, but had no idea how to use it and still acted arrogantly. In Long Chen's eyes, whether it was Han Yunchen or Wei Chang He, they were nothing more than foolish fatties fumbling around. They looked big and strong, but were actually just fat and dumb, unable to release their own power, let alone Long Chen. Even people like Zhu Yu and Yu Chang Heo would have been able to kill them in one blow had they been alive. These were greenhouse flowers, existences that couldn't compare to bamboo growing in the wild. In the righteous and corrupt battles, such idiots would have long since reincarnated. The disciples fighting the magical beast were all startled and retreated. They looked over just in time to see Wei Chang He blast his way out of the mountain and roar. Long Chen. Die. As Wei Chang He formed hand seals, endless water energy began to circulate. Ripple-like fluctuations appeared in the air. Wei Chang He had erupted with a rank 5 celestial's power. Five colored runes intertwined, forming a huge curtain of water that enveloped Long Chen. At the same time, a wave of energy roared toward him. That wasn't truly water, but something created from water runes. This attack contained terrifying destructive power. As soon as Wei Chang He attacked, a terrifying pressure caused all the disciples to turn pale. In that instant, they felt a slight stabbing pain in their souls. Their bodies involuntarily trembled, and the lower their celestial rank, the more intense that feeling was. That was a kind of heavenly deo suppression. If two celestials of different ranks fought, then the one with the greater rank would have a powerful suppressive effect on the other. And the greater the rank difference, the greater the suppression. A rank 3 celestial would be fundamentally unable to release their full power against a rank 5 celestial. Unless the cultivation base of the former far surpassed the latter, they would stay as far away as possible. In Wei Chang He's fury, he had even released the power of his spirit blood. He was clearly intent on killing Long Chen, causing Xiao Ziyan's expression to change. She knew that Long Chen was powerful, but he wasn't a celestial. Worried that he would be killed in one blow, she was just about to interfere. Suddenly, a light rumble rang out. Long Chen vanished, startling Xiao Ziyan. Wei Chang He's attack had clearly locked him down. When she saw him once more, Long Chen had used some unknown method to escape Wei Chang He's suppression and charge toward him. Idiot. I'll teach you two things. One, if you want to lock down others, either your aura or your spiritual strength has to be greater. Two, not everyone will just stupidly take your attacks head on. If you were on the battlefield, you'd have long since been killed. With thunder force around him, Long Chen was like a bolt of lightning appearing right in front of Wei Chang He and giving him another slap in the face. Long Chen almost found it inconceivable. When this idiot had attacked, he hadn't held anything back at all. In other words, all his energy had been wasted on a missed attack, while he had kept nothing back for defense or dodging. His slap landed solidly on Wei Chang He's uncomprehending face. Perhaps this result wasn't even completely in Long Chen's expectations either. His attack was extremely vicious and the sound of Wei Chang He's bones breaking rang out. Half his face caved in, and he was once more sent flying. He smashed straight through a huge mountain and then continued for a dozen miles before stopping. After stopping, he didn't move again. He had fainted. This was the result of Long Chen holding back, or his head would have exploded. Although Long Chen looked down on these people, he didn't particularly care about them. However, having this idiot call him an eastern wasteland dog had irritated him. People with such vile mouths should definitely be slapped. Everyone looked from the unmoving Wei Chang He to the indifferent Long Chen. They were stunned. Just what kind of monster was Long Chen? That Wei Chang He was a rank 5 celestial, a peak heavenly genius amongst them. But he was knocked unconscious with two slaps to the face. This couldn't even count as a battle. It felt more like beating a child. Even Xiao Ziyan was shocked. At first, she had been worried for Long Chen. But now she found she really had worried too much. Or perhaps she should have been worried for Wei Chang He. How unlucky. From the start of the day to the end of the day. I always encounter these idiots. Long Chen was speechless. He had been preparing to properly raise his strength in the Zhuanchen Dao sect. 
focusing on cultivating. He didn't want to provoke others, but there was always an unending stream of idiots coming to provoke him. As soon as he arrived at the Central Plains, he had to face other people's discrimination and mocking. Even with a good temper, he'd find it unbearable. Furthermore, his temper had never been good. First, he received provocation from Yan Machen. Then he had Han Yunchen trying to get revenge on him. And now he had this fool who thought he was trying to seduce his woman. With his temper in the eastern wasteland, he'd have long since put them in the ground. But he had newfound restraint. And although he couldn't kill them now, he definitely wouldn't let them get used to bullying him. Sorry, I implicated you. Apologized Xiao Ziyan. It has nothing to do with you. This is fate. Wei Chang He must have committed many wicked deeds to run into me, said Long Chen. Or perhaps it was he who had committed too many wicked deeds in his past life. When the heavens were bored, why would they toss some trash his way? Did they want to disgust him to death? Time was of the essence. He wanted to quickly get used to the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the Central Plains. He had no time for this nonsense. Since that's the case, I won't bother Brother Long any longer. Xiao Ziyan bowed slightly. All right, but really, this matter has nothing to do with you, said Long Chen. Xiao Ziyan nodded gratefully and rushed off to the mountain peak. There was still a powerful 8th rank magical beast guarding there. Water Spirit Prison. That Zuan turtle was tightly bound by runic chains, becoming unable to move. What refined control. It's at least a bit stronger than Wei Chang He. However, there are still too many flaws. It's alright to use it against a magical beast, but on a battlefield, it would just be a joke. Long Chen was speechless inside. As soon as she used a move, he could tell her true power and experience. He actually felt that life really was fair. The Dragon Blood Legion's path had been filled with pitfalls, but now each one of them was a true expert. Compared to the other three regions' disciples, they were the true warriors. As for those talented disciples, they ended up like children. For them to become true experts would require a long time. Even in a group battle against such an ordinary 8th rank magical beast, they were constantly injured. The difference was truly immense. Xiao Ziyan didn't kill the Zuan turtle after capturing it. Instead, she brought those people past it while it was captured. Those people were incomparably excited and repeatedly thanked her. Once Xiao Ziyan left, the Zuan turtle escaped from its bindings and roared, releasing its fury. Shut up. Provoke me and I'll kill you said Long Chen. The Zuan turtle's roar stopped abruptly as if it became too terrified to make a sound. An eighth rank magical beast had some intelligence, and their sense of danger was quite strong. A single order from Long Chen made it silent. Long Chen didn't continue onwards. He waited for three days. On the third day, Wei Chang He finally awoke. When he saw Long Chen, he glared furiously, but Long Chen ignored him. As long as he dared to come at him, he would just send him flying with another slap in the face. Wei Chang He's eyes were spitting flames, but in the end, he didn't dare to attack Long Chen again. He chose to continue onwards. During these three days, another mass of people accumulated before the mountain valley, but right now, they only numbered 300. They tried several times, but they were unable to get past the Zuan Turtles blockade. These disciples had been lagging behind, meaning they were also weaker. Wei Chang He was heartless binding the Zuan turtle and walking past by himself. He immediately released it so no one else could pass. Those people glared hatefully at him, but they were powerless. The Zuan turtle was too strong, and two people had almost been killed when they had tried to get past it. They didn't dare to try again and were just waiting. After another day, the person Long Chen had been waiting for finally arrived. It was the dragonblood warrior he had left behind as a ferryman. Other than him, there were two other dragonblood warriors. Long Chen asked, how was it? He, were rich. I also sold off the boat for a high price. In total, I got over 130 million middle grade spirit stones. That dragonblood warrior handed Long Chen a spatial ring. Long Chen nodded. That was around what he had predicted. And a slight difference was very normal. He then asked about Gu Yang. The two of us lagged behind to search for big brother Gu Yang in the mist region. But after going through the whole area, we couldn't find him. He should have long since left, said one of the other two dragonblood warriors. Their spiritual strength was not bad, and so they weren't impacted by the illusion formation. If they hadn't found Gu Yang after all this time, it meant he had gotten out on his own. Good, then I'm at ease. Let's continue onwards. Long Chen nodded and led the three of them toward the mountain pass. When Long Chen arrived, those anxious disciples' eyes lit up. Chapter 1003 Darkwing Tiger Translator
born to be senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Please bring us along. Seeing Long Chen go directly toward that powerful eighth rank magical beasts, the other disciples were delighted. A maiden cutely begged for help. That was the benefit of being a woman, especially the kind of woman that knew how to look pitiful. Scram. Long Chen's voice caused her expression to sink, as well as everyone else's expressions. She began to cry. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you, what are you all waiting for? Hurry and follow, said one of the Dragonblood warriors. Only then did everyone realize Long Chen had already arrived at the terrifying Zuan turtle. His shout caused it to immediately flee to the side. Not only that, it retreated into its shell, not daring to move. People were shocked to find that it was even trembling in fear. Only then did they realize Long Chen's shout hadn't been toward them. They were ecstatic and they all hastily followed. Seeing Long Chen terrify an 8th rank magical beast with just a shout, they were all full of reverence for him. Even Wei Changhe and Zhao Ziyan had been forced to bind the Zuan turtle to pass. What they didn't know was that although the Zuan turtle was a magical beast, its intelligence was comparatively higher than other magical beasts of the same rank. It knew what people it could bully and what people it couldn't. Long Chen had sent Wei Changhe flying twice with slaps to the face. Although it didn't quite understand what had happened, it could tell who was stronger. It couldn't even stop Wei Changhe, so there was no point in trying to stop Long Chen. Furthermore, Long Chen had something that terrified it greatly. It was this little intelligence that saved its life now Novaloon.com CM as Long Chen walked by. The others quickly followed. As he advanced, more magical beasts appeared to block his path. Sometimes, he would just give them a shout and they would obediently get out of the way. But some blind fellows refused. Due to that, they were killed by him. Everyone was shocked to see terrifying 8th rank magical beasts being killed with just a single punch from Long Chen. Those 8th rank magical beasts didn't have the slightest ability to resist. The dragonblood warriors behind him were indifferent to this. They had long since grown accustomed, which made everyone else feel like they were monsters as well. Long Chen's display now completely toppled their preconception that the Eastern Wasteland was the weakest of the four regions. In previous generations, the Eastern Wasteland's people were nothing more than extras joining in on the fun. But now they learned what domineering was. As Long Chen advanced, his footsteps didn't pause once. They all cheered inside, because Long Chen brought them through dozens of passes. With the magical beasts growing stronger and stronger, there were also more and more people stuck at them. However, all those blockades were nothing to Long Chen. A shout drove many away, and those that didn't flee were killed with one punch. As they advanced, they came to realize the terrain of this region. This was a funnel. In the beginning, there were many more entrances, but after a couple of passes, the disciples began to gather in larger groups. Toward the end, each pass had more and more disciples in front of it, with the magical beasts guarding the pass too strong for them to get by. By now, there were tens of thousands of people following Long Chen. Each time he got past a level, another group of people would join. Like a rolling snowball, the number of people rapidly grew. Within this group, Long Chen saw many people who had once looked down upon the eastern wasteland. They had once insulted his people, but he didn't feel proper excluding them from the group. So he just acted like he didn't see them. More dragonblood warriors also appeared. Now, he had over 30 of them by his side. Finally. He encountered a terrifying late 8th rank magical beast called the Darkwing Tiger. It possessed an ancient bloodline, and had inherited a flying beast's bloodline that gave it great speed. Although it was also an 8th rank magical beast, it was much stronger than the previous ones. It was a perfect embodiment of the phrase like a tiger that has grown wings. It was a combination of both speed and power. But strangely, Long Chen didn't do anything against the Darkwing Tiger. Instead, he had the Dragonblood Warriors go out. When everyone heard that, they all jumped in fright. The ordinary Dragonblood Warriors were just rank 3 Celestials. Amongst them, their talent was only average. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, this is too dangerous, said a beautiful woman who worshipped him. It is precisely because it is dangerous that it has a meaning. If it wasn't dangerous, I'd have already killed it, said Long Chen. Comet everyone was stunned, looking at the lost expressions of these elites. He sighed inside. Being on different levels made communication difficult. It was because the Darkwing Tiger was strong enough to threaten the Dragonblood Warriors' lives that Long Chen had them deal with it. A cultivator was like a blade. A blade wasn't born sharp. It needed constant tempering. If a blade was set aside for too long, it would easily rust. It needed constant sharpening to stay in a battle-ready state. 
If you only went to sharpen it when your enemies came, it would be too late. Although the previous magical beasts had been strong, they hadn't been strong enough to threaten them. Thus, Long Chen couldn't be bothered to waste his time until now. Now they had run into a suitable magical beast. The Darkwing Tiger roared, and a huge claw slashed toward one of the Dragonblood Warriors. Boom. The Dragonblood Warrior was sent flying, vomiting blood. The Darkwing Tiger was incredibly powerful, and an ordinary Rank 3 Celestial would be blown apart by its attack. But by forcibly taking its attack, that Dragonblood Warrior created an opening for the others. They charged forward, but they were blown back by its huge wings. This is too unfair. The Darkwing Tiger can fly, while we can't go into the air, said someone indignantly. They all thought of how sullen their own battles here had been. Because they were unable to fly, there were many moves they couldn't use or could only use with limited power. Long Chen ignored them. He had encountered many unfair things, and if he got angry about every single one of them, he'd have long since died from anger. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, you're a different kind of expert from the ones I've seen. Can you give us a few pointers? Asked a rank for Celestial respectfully. He had been thinking these words for a long time, and he finally summoned the courage to speak. Yes, please tell us. They now saw that these 30-something Dragonblood warriors were able to fight evenly against the powerful Darkwing Tiger. The power they unleashed and their fierceness caused these disciples' hearts to tremble. Most importantly, their talent wasn't particularly high, but their combat power was miles ahead of them. They made all these disciples turn to look at the one they called Boss. They didn't conceal their worship and respect for this figure at all. Long Chen frowned slightly. He didn't want to reply to such a childish question. But seeing so many people expectantly looking at him, he said, the reason they are strong is because they had no choice but to be strong. If they were weaker, they'd have died. Unlike for you, life is like a merciless whip striking right behind us. If even one of our steps is too slow, our flesh will be lacerated and we might even die. We had no one to shield the rain for us. So we needed to run as fast as we could. You had backers to rely on, while we could only rely on ourselves. So profound, muttered a disciple. Long Chen almost coughed up blood. He had explained it so simply, but it was still profound? Did they even have a brain? Senior apprentice brother, are you saying that experts are forced to become experts? You're saying our parents and seniors spoiled us and made things too easy for us? Asked someone who understood. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, what should we do? If you want to become stronger, you have to be prepared to lose your life at any time. If you're afraid of death, then give up on that dream. You might as well return home and continue your peaceful life, said Long Chen. I want to get stronger, said a disciple with a determined expression. Then let me ask you, why do you want to get stronger? Asked Long Chen, looking at that person. I, if you don't even know why you have to get stronger, then when you're forced to the brink of death, your determination will instantly crumble. Terror will strike your heart. You don't become an expert by talking about it. If you want to get strong, first look for a dependable reason, and turn that reason into your conviction. Only then can you become a true expert. Otherwise, no matter how high your cultivation base, how amazing your talent, how powerful you become, you'll be nothing more than a paper tiger. When pushed to desperate straits, you'll instantly crumble, said Long Chen. Then senior apprentice brother Long Chen, what is your reason for becoming stronger? Me? My reason for becoming stronger is them. Long Chen pointed with his head. Everyone looked in that direction to see the Dragonblood Warriors fiercely fighting. Chapter 1004 Unexpected Translator Born to be they are my brothers, my conviction, my belief. I will pay any price to protect them. Long Chen smiled warmly as he looked at those Dragonblood Warriors. Each one of them was his brother. They worshipped him and were willing to give up anything for him. He was also willing to sacrifice his life for them. This kind of feeling was something others couldn't comprehend. Many people might scoff at it but only they were able to understand this feeling between brothers. The blood of the covenant was thicker than the water of the womb. His words caused these people to feel lost. They felt like they understood what he was saying, but they were unable to understand that realm, because they had never come into contact with something like that. Qi Fang, Yu Yang, led a few people to draw its attention. The others formed two wings for protection. Luo Fei, work with me to kill it in one blow, shouted one of the Dragonblood warriors. The others rapidly took their positions, with people attacking it to the front and people disturbing it to the sides. After fighting against it for so long, they had already come to understand the Darkwing Tiger's attack patterns, but it was still too strong for them. 
and they had to try a combination attack. The Dragonblood warriors at the front unleashed powerful attacks as they activated their treasure item's true bodies. They actually managed to force the Darkwing Tiger back. It let out a furious roar, and the runes on its wings suddenly lit up. This was the preparation for one of its powerful moves. But just at this moment, the Dragonblood warriors at the side launched all-out attacks, forcing the Darkwing Tiger to use its wings to cover its body. Their treasure items caused metallic ringing when they struck its wings, unable to break its defense. Now, the Darkwing Tiger hadn't been able to release its powerful attack and had been forced into a defensive posture. Just at that moment, two figures stealthily slipped into one of its blind spots. Two sabers slashed down consecutively. The first one broke its tough hide and left a huge cut, and then the second one came. It precisely landed on the cut, and a huge head flew into the air, grabbing its attention, forcing it to switch to defense, and then the launch of a sudden, decisive attack. All of it was completely seamlessly. Instead of being different parts, the Dragonblood warriors were like one inseparable whole. In truth, the Darkwing Tiger's defense was shockingly great. Even this sudden attack would normally be unable to break its tough outer hide, and even if it did, it wouldn't cause such a huge injury. The only reason it had worked was because the Darkwing Tiger had gathered all its defensive energy to its wings. The huge head rolling on the ground deeply shook the disciples' hearts. They didn't dare to believe that these 30-some people had actually killed this late 8th rank Darkwing Tiger. Nice. The two Dragonblood warriors that had launched the final attack high-fived, celebrating this perfect cooperation. Watch out. Suddenly, someone cried out. Just as they cheered, one of the headless Darkwing Tiger's wings raised into the air and slammed down toward them. For the headless corpse to suddenly unleash such a fierce attack, everyone was shocked. This attack was even more terrifying than all its previous attacks. Its power caused space to twist around it, and if it landed, these two would definitely die. A huge blood-red saber image slashed onto that terrifying wing. When the two collided, it caused a heaven-shaking explosion. The ground shook intensely, and the powerful key wave blew away all the Dragonblood warriors. They vomited blood as they flew through the air. The distant disciples were all struck by the key wave as well. They were blown back dozens of miles before managing to stabilize themselves. Novaloon.com When they once more looked toward the mountain pass, they saw Long Chen surrounded by astral winds that tore at his robes. He was like an unmoving mountain, his saber lazily resting on his shoulder. There was a huge hole in front of Long Chen, and within that hole, the Darkwing Tiger's corpse lay motionless. One of its wings had vanished. Bloodrinker's power has once more increased. According to the Eastern Wasteland Bell, if I continue nourishing it like this, it will quickly reach the King Item level. Long Chen was startled. He had always been nourishing Bloodrinker according to the method the Eastern Wasteland Bell had taught him. According to the Eastern Wasteland Bell, although Bloodrinker was only a peak grade treasure item, the material it was made of was special and even the way it had been forged was excellent. Although it had once been injured, through the phoenix blood black gold, its quality had increased from its previous peak. Not only that, but through this constant nourishment, Long Chen's connection with Bloodrinker's item spirit grew greater by the day. When he attacked, Bloodrinker would make adjustments according to his move. Their cooperation caused their power to increase again. Boss, two miserable figures dug their way out of the ground. It was the two Dragonblood warriors that had cut off the Darkwing Tiger's head. They were both ashamed. Not bad. Your cooperation was basically perfect. Long Chen smiled and put away Bloodrinker, patting them on the shoulder. Boss, don't comfort us. If it weren't for you, we'd be dead, said one of them bitterly. That attack at the end had been incredibly terrifying. The other Dragonblood warriors came over. They surrounded the Darkwing Tiger's corpse, making sure it was truly dead. Don't blame yourselves. You've already done very well. It was just a bit of an accident, but this does show that you still don't have enough battle experience. Although it was a magical beast, and 99% of magical beasts have crystal cores, there are always some exceptions. For example, this Darkwing Tiger, all its energy was in its Needon. If you had paid more attention in battle, you'd have seen that when the Darkwing Tiger attacked, its runes began to light up from its abdomen and not its head, said Long Chen. It seems that really was the case. When magical beasts launch their attacks, their energy normally starts in their crystal core. It looks instantaneous, but the runes start from the head. It's just that many people don't pay attention to that detail. As for the Darkwing Tiger, its energy stems from its Needon. Even once its head is cut off, it won't immediately die. 
It will have one last breath to unleash all its need and energy in one sudden explosion to bring down its killer, said Long Chen. The Dragonblood warriors were all ashamed. This small detail had almost taken their lives. At this time, the other disciples who had been blown away returned. They couldn't help but sigh emotionally. Experts truly were experts. Just this vision left them far in the dust. Sorry boss, we didn't pay enough attention before attacking. There's no need to say such words between brothers. Since I dared to let you take this risk, everything was within my control. This was nothing more than a game, so don't take it so seriously. Gaining some experience isn't a bad thing. There are countless oddities in this world, and although they're rare, if you're unlucky, you'll end up running into them. So remember, when you attack, your guts have to be big, but you also have to be meticulous. You can't be lacking either one. There are some mistakes that we can't afford to make. Menki told me that some magical beasts can even have both crystal cores and needons. To sum it up, there are all kinds of varieties. So just be careful. Long Chen didn't blame them. At first, he had felt the Darkwing Tiger to be a bit odd, and then he had seen through some clues. Nonetheless, he trusted that after this experience, they would pay much more attention. He often told them that they couldn't make the same mistake twice. Seeing all this, the other three regions' disciples were all ashamed. This little mistake wasn't even a mistake in their eyes. It seemed that in Long Chen's eyes, everything they did was full of mistakes. For the Dragonblood warriors to care so much about this tiny little mistake, they thought of Long Chen's previous words. The reason they were strong was because they had no choice but to get stronger. If they were weaker, they would have long since died. This had been a good example. Their battle just now had practically reached the realm of perfection but they had still almost lost their lives. Now they understood why the Dragonblood warriors were so strong. They looked worshipfully at them. After putting away the corpse, they continued forward. But curiously, even after two days, no more blockades appeared. If they weren't sure about the direction, they would have assumed that they were lost. On the third day, as they were crossing a mountain, they suddenly heard an intense battle going on ahead. Long Chen's expression changed slightly. He heard a very familiar voice and he rushed off. Reaching the peak of another mountain, he saw a barren land with two people fighting each other on it. Chapter 1005 Your Two Filthy Translator Born to be there was a sea of people ahead. Hundreds of thousands of disciples were watching an intense battle. Sand and stone tore through the air alongside the powerful winds. There were two figures on the battlefield. One was a beautiful figure surrounded by whirling wind blades. Like a celestial goddess, she was Tang Wanur. The one she was facing was a man in thick armor. That armor had runes the color of the ground, and powerful earth energy continuously surged towards him. It was the western desert's heavenly genius, Yan Machen, its sister Wanur. Boss, let's go cut down that ground beetle, raged one of the dragonblood warriors. Hey, what did I tell you guys before? This place is not the eastern wasteland. Don't think about fighting and killing all day. Use kindness to subdue others. Furthermore, Wanur isn't losing. She hasn't fought in a long time so fighting a bit is good. Maybe then she won't want to fight me all day. Let's go find a good place to watch. Long Chen didn't plan on immediately interfering. He wasn't worried for Tang Wanur at all. She had obtained a powerful inheritance in the immemorial path. Combined with her refining the 10,000 spirit blood, her power was extremely great. Most importantly, she was someone who had faced death with him several times and was a true expert forged through many great battles. The wind blades around her surged and crashed like a tsunami. With two wind blades in her hands, she forced Yan Machen to retreat miserably over and over again. Fortunately for Yan Machen, that thick armor around him was the great earthen armor condensed from his core runes. It was his strongest defense, and the wind blades were all blown back when they struck it. However, the wind blades also possessed immense destructive power, leaving countless nicks in his earth armor. He was forced to constantly draw out earth energy to repair those nicks or his earth armor would have long since shattered. All the experts watching were stunned. They had never imagined that a rank 4 celestial like Tang Wanur would be able to repeatedly force back the rank 5 celestial Yan Machen. Sister Wanur is mighty. Novaloon.com Sister Wanur is mighty. Sister Wanur is mighty. There was a group of people that were constantly cheering. When Long Chen looked over, he couldn't help but laugh. Who could the person leading that group be other than Guo Ran? Long Chen immediately saw Gu Yang's bright head behind him. He was relieved to see him, and he brought his group over. Haha, <laughs> boss, you've come to. That Yan Machen was such a damn poser, saying that he could challenge the entire eastern wasteland. Thus, 
Sister Wanner decided to teach him a lesson, explained Guo Ran with a smile. Did you manage to obtain the secrets of the wooden puppets? Long Chen suddenly thought of the last time he had seen him. Ugh, it's too depressing to talk about. The only thing I got was my own tears, said Guo Ran sorrowfully. Gu Yang, how did you manage to get out of the illusion formation? Asked Long Chen. I, Gu Yang blushed, causing Long Chen to be stunned. This little fellow paid someone to bring him out. Ha ha ha, laughed Guo Ran, his gloom vanishing in an instant. Gu Yang rubbed his head, embarrassed. There was no way around it. Otherwise, I'd have failed on the first part. Even that's an option? Not bad, not bad. In truth, there are many things that money can solve. Sometimes it's even more effective than martial strength. So it's not embarrassing, laughed Long Chen. Oh, boss, look, our ferry boat has also come. He's even looking worshipfully at you, exclaimed the dragonblood warrior who had spent a few days acting as a ferryman. Long Chen quickly saw a pair of eyes filled with rancor glaring at him. That gaze clearly said he wanted to bite Long Chen to death. How was it worshipful? That person was precisely the person who had been viciously put in his place twice. Han Yunshin. I wonder if the brother who bought him managed to make back his money, laughed the dragonblood warrior. Long Chen ignored Han Yunshin. That idiot was nothing to him, unable to pose the slightest threat. Han Yunshin was gathered with the Northern Source's disciples. Although the people here looked to be in disarray, they were actually split into four regions. Long Chen quickly saw a beautiful woman in the southern seaside waving slightly at him. She was Xiao Ziyan. Long Chen smiled slightly and nodded toward her, which could count as a greeting. Guo Ran was shocked and worshipfully said, Boss, you really are the boss. No matter who she is, any woman ends up captured in your hands. When it comes to seducing a hand clamped onto Guo Ran's throat, Long Chen raged, Brat. When are you going to reserve yourself a bit? I almost got killed several times because of you. Do you know how many times Tang Wan Er beat me in private because of your blabbing mouth? If you want to die, can you not bring me down with you? Long Chen's fury immediately erupted. Because of Guo Ran, he had been interrogated by Tang Wan Er many times when no one else had been watching. Thinking of that, he ground his teeth. It was just a misunderstanding, boss. Furthermore, Sister Men Qi and Wan Er aren't here. Guo Ran begged for forgiveness. Only then did Long Chen release him. He wasn't afraid of a godlike opponent, but he was afraid of a pig like a lie. He had been implicated by Guo Ran far too many times. Reporting to boss, that Wei Chang He is glaring at you, said Guo Ran immediately after being released. Ignore him. They're all just idiots. Is the entire Dragonblood Legion present? Asked Long Chen. Yes, they're all here. But there are over 70 brothers that came with us that didn't manage to pass said Guo Ran. Over 70, Long Chen sighed. Only 500 people had come from the eastern wasteland, and the Dragonblood Legion had taken up most of those spots. Now that 70 had been taken from their number, it really was pitifully low. For over 70 people to be unable to pass such a simple trial, the power difference was truly immense. Long Chen looked around, doing a rough estimate. He'd say there were less than 750,000 people. Of 870 600,000 disciples, only over a hundred thousand of them had been washed out. The failure rate wasn't very high. Long Chen had originally thought that at least half of them would fail. Boom. Tang Wan Er suddenly summoned a huge wind blade and exchanged a head-on blow with Yan Ma Chen. Both sides fell back. Sister Wan Er is mighty. Beat this ground beetle, cried Guo Ran. Gu Yang and the others also cheered along. Although this exchange had ended in a draw, everyone could clearly see that it was Yan Ma Chen who was at a disadvantage. Tang Wan Er's attacks were too agile and drifting. She could attack from any angle with great destructive power. As for Yan Ma Chen, he had only managed to keep up thanks to an Earth Attribute Expert's great defensive power. If this continued, then the attacking Tang Wan Er would have much higher odds of winning. As for Yan Ma Chen, he wouldn't even have a chance to counterattack and would only be able to stall for time. This result was unacceptable to the Western Desert's people. It was they who had mocked the Eastern Wasteland the most, calling them dogs. But now Yan Ma Chen, their top expert, a Grand Rank 5 Celestial, was at a disadvantage against a Rank 4 Celestial. Their faces were burning hot as if they had just been slapped. HMPH, Yan Ma Chen refuses to use his full power against a woman. Otherwise, she wouldn't be able to last even a hundred exchanges, cried one of the Western Desert's disciples. You're still alive. Guo Ran was stunned. That person was the one who had come out to insult the Eastern Wasteland's disciples first. Zi Wei. On that day, 
he had almost been killed by a single slash of Yu Zifan's sword. If it hadn't been for an elder saving him, he'd have died. Then, Long Chen had slapped him so hard that he had fainted in front of everyone. HMPH. Of course I'm still alive. You think an insignificant trial of this difficulty can stop me? Sneered Ziwei. No, you misunderstand. What I meant was, you're not embarrassed to stay alive. You lost so much face that day that anyone else would have killed themselves out of shame. I admire your bravery, praised Guo Ran. You, Ziwei almost coughed up blood. Guo Ran was intentionally picking at his scab. Thinking of how much face he had lost that day, he clenched his teeth but was unable to retort. He could only endure. Don't be like this. I'm not trying to humiliate you. I really admire you. This is praise. Yes, it's praise, said Guo Ran. Although he said it was praise. That evil smile made it so no one could believe him. Yan Machen, next time you want to say such big words, you should consider your own power first. Don't spout whatever you want, or you can come and try me any time, said Tang Wanner indifferently before ignoring him and returning to her side. Sister Wanner is mighty, cheered the dragon blood warriors, seeing Long Chen looking at her with a mischievous smile. Tang Wanner blushed slightly. She rebuked. What are you looking at me like that for? Did I do something wrong? You didn't do anything wrong, but you said something wrong. What? Your words were too filthy. Filthy? How? Just look at how big he is. You want him to appraise his crap power before speaking? Don't you think that it's too filthy? Tang Wanner didn't understand for a long time. But seeing Guo Ran and Gu Yang smiling, she suddenly realized what he was saying. Long Chen, you're disgusting. Ha ha ha. Long Chen's words truly were disgusting. Tang Wanner couldn't bear it. But the dragon blood warriors all laughed. As for Yan Machen, his expression sank. Buzz. Suddenly, space shook, and a majestic pressure descended, causing everyone's hearts to shake. This is a pun on and which sound the same, but Tang Wanner says power, while Long Chen says crap. So in Long Chen's words, Tang Wanner said, Next time you want to say such big words, you should first appraise your crap. Chapter 1006 Terrifying Pressure Translator Born to be everyone quickly turned around, their expressions changing. A large mountain had suddenly appeared in front of them. On it, there was a long staircase that led to a huge gate. The gate was a mile high, and its roof continued into the clouds. That grand and sacred majesty caused all of them to feel reverence. On the gate was a huge immortal character, Zuan. It was written gracefully and almost seemed to move. It was full of Dao charm. We've passed. We got into the Zuanshan Dao sect. Seeing this gate. Quite a few people began to weep tears of joy. They were sure this was the gate to the Zuanshan Dao sect seeing this scene. Long Chen's mouth curled, but he didn't say anything. According to his experience, things probably wouldn't be as simple as they thought. If they really had passed, they would be standing right in front of the gate, not at the bottom of this huge staircase. At this moment, a beautiful figure appeared at the top of the stairs. It was Mu Kingsuan. Looking at all of them, she smiled, and in their current state, the disciples felt like they were being bathed by spring wind. Senior apprentice sister Kingsuan, you've come to receive us. Kingsuan, you're beautiful. I love you. Senior apprentice sister Kingsuan, I'll work hard to be your Dao companion. Kingsuan's arrival caused a burst of passion, making them go a bit out of control. The excited disciples began to spout some brazen words. Haha, <laughs> thank you all for looking favorably upon me. Now I don't know how to say what I have to say. Mu Kingsuan's expression grew a bit bitter. Guo Ran and the others looked at each other. As expected, it definitely wouldn't be so simple. Even now, people hadn't recovered from their excitement. But some people did hear the clue in her words. Everyone, shut up. The Zhuanshan Dao sect is somewhere only elites amongst elites can join. Not just any trash can muddle their way in. Shouted a rank four celestial. His words like ice water. Long Chen looked over. Although that person was a rank four celestial. His aura was extremely condensed. His strength was not bad. The atmosphere immediately sank. Quite a few people were angry and about to curse him when Mu Kingsuan's voice rang out. Everyone, please calm down and listen. An unwilling expression appeared in her eyes. But she took a deep breath and said, Cultivation is cruel and merciless. Ten years ago, I stood here just like you and saw many of my companions cheering. And some even cried. But when we heard the next bit of news, our excitement vanished. Before truly entering the Zhuanshan Dao sect and becoming one of its disciples, you still have to go through another cruel trial. To tell the truth, your generation's talent is much greater than mine, but your actual strength is much weaker. 
This next test is merciless, and it's likely over half of you will wash out here. In fact, this number will very likely be even greater. Mu Kingsuan's voice was heavy. It was like a hammer striking their hearts. Half? Over half will wash out. Those excited people's smiles instantly vanished to be replaced with disbelief. Looking at those expressions, Mu Kingsuan was a bit unwilling, but she had no choice. Cultivation is just that cruel. There are no emotions to speak of. The strong want to get stronger. So all your resources have to be fought for by yourselves. That's why you see the strong get stronger. Because the resources that should have been split to the weak were taken by them. Don't grumble about it being unfair. Because there was never anything known as fairness in this world. If you want to become strong, you have to go all out to fight. I've said everything that is it to be said. Let the final trial begin. This trial is very simple. All you have to do is climb the 999 stairs to reach my position. Boom. Suddenly, the void shook. Two huge figures appeared at the top of the staircase, and everyone's hair stood on end, a sudden chill pervading to their bones. Tenth rank Zuan beasts. Long Chen was shocked, because he had experienced this terrifying pressure twice before. He knew what kind of existence it was from. These were two 3,000-mile serpents. Their entire bodies were covered in golden scales with ancient runes flickering on them. Their powerful pressure made it seem like heaven and earth would be compressed. On their heads were golden horns with runes revolving around them that caused space to quiver. They aren't serpents, nor are they pythons. They should be the legendary drakes. Long Chen's heart pounded. Serpents, pythons, drakes, and dragons. Legend said that this was how serpents evolved to become dragons. But everyone thought that this was just nonsense. A serpent was a serpent, even if it cultivated for a lifetime. In the end, it would just be a bigger serpent. It didn't have the slightest relation to a dragon. But some people also thought that this theory was correct. The process of a serpent evolving into a dragon was the same as humans reaching the peak of their cultivation, becoming a god or immortal. Today, Long Chen was excited and shocked to see these true drakes. One reason was because he could now confirm their existence. While the other reason was the fact that the Zhuanchen Dao sect had the power to possess such terrifying Zuan beasts. Long Chen had it good since this wasn't the first time he was facing this kind of terrifying existence. As for the Dragon Blood Warriors, their expressions changed slightly. Although they had once faced the pressure of a 10th rank sea demon, it hadn't been at such close range. Their hair stood on end. As for the other disciples, they were pale, barely able to breathe. Some were even on the verge of collapse. Two 10th rank Zuan beasts pressure scared them out of their wits. Thank you for your trouble, seniors. Mu King Zuan respectfully bowed toward the two of them. It's fine. Let the trial begin. We're waiting to return to cultivate, said one of the drakes, shocking quite a few people. They immediately collapsed on the ground. Beasts could speak human words? This was unimaginable in the eyes of countless cultivators. Yes, Mu King Zuan waved her hand and the staircase's runes lit up before once more fading as if nothing had happened. But Long Chen could sense some kind of energy present within them now. All right, the final trial begins here. As long as you can reach the 999th stair, you'll pass, said Mu Kingsuan. Just as Mu Kingsuan activated the trial, within the Elder Hall, all the elders were watching this scene as well. Their expressions were complicated. There was pity, expectation, and unwillingness. One of the elders sighed. It's the strongest generation but also the weakest. Everyone else was silent, understanding what he meant. In terms of talent, this generation was outstanding, but their actual strength was the weakest in all of history. It was ironic. As the elders watched them reach this point, they had all cursed the people who had raised them. What bastards had raised such talented disciples into sheep? All they did was raise their talent and cultivation base, but they didn't raise their mental realm or will. That was basically raising wolves into sheep. Their fangs were about to completely recede. No matter how strong they were. What was the point? Were they supposed to feed their enemies until they died? This had infuriated the elders to the extreme. Such good disciples had been ruined. A waste of natural treasures. Originally, I wanted to bet on what percentage of them would pass. But now, sighed an elder. Don't be angry. We shouldn't judge them with the central plains standard. After all. The situation in those desolate places isn't good. The fact that they could raise this many talented disciples is already quite amazing. My guess is that there was a sudden influx of geniuses, and in their delight, they didn't want to lose any. But at least the Eastern Wasteland's disciples are good. Those Dragonblood Legion fellows are all amazing, said the Hall Master. It truly is rare. 
Their talent is just ordinary, but their combat power and experience are shocking. Especially that Long Chen. He's practically a monster. He defeated Han Yunchen and Wei Changhe like they were children, and even used Han Yunchen as a boat to make money. The elders had all been paying attention to Long Chen. When they had seen him turn Han Yunchen into a tool to cross the lake and make money, they had all been speechless. As expected, Long Chen's head was different from an ordinary person. Would an ordinary person ever think of such a crazy thing? Hall Master, with your vision, how many people do you think will pass? Asked an elder. This question of yours is quite evil. First you praise me, and then if I'm wrong, it'll be like a slap in my face. Laughed the Hall Master. That elder immediately turned red, while the others laughed. The hall master thought about it for a while. Looking at the scene before him, he said, Under the pressure of the two Drake Ray seniors, there is no way for them to hide the weakness in their hearts. The first 333 stairs test their ability to face terror. The middle 333 stairs test their will. And the last 333 stairs are the most difficult. They attack their negative emotions. Most of these disciples have been pampered and never experienced any life and death trials. And unfortunately, this Zhuanshan staircase is a test of their heart, not their talent. I won't make a guess, but I think you should pray for them. While the elders were worrying about them, all the disciples in front of the Zhuanshan staircase didn't dare to move. No one was making a sound. I'll go first. The rest of you, keep up, said Long Chen. In front of the hundreds of thousands of gazes, he directly walked over to the staircase. Chapter 1007 Walking Alone Amongst Geniuses Translator Born to be Long Chen was the first to walk onto the staircase. Tang Wan'er and the others maintained a set distance from him as they followed. This caused everyone's attention to fall on Long Chen. He became the focal point for hundreds of thousands of people. HMPH. What a show off. Who does he think he is? How could the final trial be so simple? He's just embarrassing himself. Sneered someone. Feeling like Long Chen would definitely suffer for trying to take the spotlight. Idiot. Do you think a rank 4 celestial like you could comprehend senior apprentice brother Long Chen's capabilities? Before criticizing others, consider whether you have the qualifications or not, retorted someone else. The person who was speaking for Long Chen was one of the disciples who had passed because of him. He had personally seen how domineering Long Chen was. Eighth rank 8 magical beasts had been blown back by a single punch of his. Furthermore, Long Chen never put on airs with him or the others. Only later had he understood a certain principle. Truly baddest people never had to be posers, because there was no need. Those people who liked to be posers were normally just people who felt inferior and were afraid that others would think they were insignificant if they weren't posers. To put it bluntly, those show-offs only showed off to find meaning for their own existence. People with real skills didn't need to do that, or perhaps they were already tired of being everyone else's focus point. That kind of mannerism was something possessed by people who felt lonely at the top. That was truly badass. You're also from the northern source. So why speak for the eastern wasteland? What did he bribe you with to make you submit to him? Raged that person. Fuck off. I look down on you useless people, who only like to criticize others to feel like you exist. The most. If you have any ability, why don't you go up there as well? Why shout from here? And why are you hiding in such a dark spot? The other person also wasn't a kind-hearted person and cursed back. Don't cause a ruckus or you'll lose your qualifications to participate in the trial, ordered Mu Kingsuan coldly. At this time, Long Chen had stepped onto the first stair. Her complete attention was on him, but there was no reaction at all when he stepped onto it. It was like he had just stepped onto an ordinary stair. He didn't even bat an eye. How is that possible? Mu Kingsuan was stunned. She was from the previous generation of disciples and she was well aware of how terrifying the Zhuanshan staircase was. The first 333 stairs tested how well a person could handle terror. This formation plus the pressure of two 10th rank Zhuan beasts would make a person scared out of their wits. But Long Chen didn't have the slightest reaction to it. It wasn't just Mu Kingsuan who was shocked. All the elders in the elders hall were shocked. Does Long Chen not have the slightest fear in his heart? Impossible. The two 10th rank Zhuan beasts looked at Long Chen. One of them said, the aura of the ancestors. Yes, for a human to receive the care of the ancestors, he must be extraordinary, said the other. The two of them were communicating with a secret art. Others were unable to hear them. From the surface, it didn't even seem like they were communicating. In truth, when Long Chen stepped onto the first stair, he truly did feel a strange fluctuation. However, 
He didn't do anything to resist and allowed it to wash over him instead. He had no fear in his heart. He was immune to this energy, because this terror was nothing more than child's play to him. Someone who had experienced countless life and death battles. It wasn't just Long Chen. Even the Dragon Blood warriors were barely affected. They only frowned slightly, recognizing that this was a trial that amplified their feeling of terror before continuing onwards. What? So it was fake. Seeing that the Dragon Blood warriors had reached the hundredth step without any reaction, a disciple sighed and walked over to the staircase. But when he stepped onto the first stair, he immediately turned pale. Endless terror in his eyes as his body involuntarily trembled. I actually thought there was a problem with the Zuanchen staircase. Now I'm relieved. Sighed Mu Kingsuan. That disciple seemed to be struggling with a nightmare. He let out a furious roar, and the terror in his eyes was forced back slightly, clenching his teeth. He continued onwards, but when he reached the tenth step, he knelt on it, his whole body quivering, unable to move any further. A ray of light eventually sent him off. You failed the trial, said Mu Kingsuan. That disciple was ashen. Her words meant he had no destiny with the Zuanchen Daosek brother. What happened? Someone helped this person up. Curious about his experience. 10,000 middle grade spirit stones. That person was still quivering. But he managed to spit out his prize. What the fuck? Why don't you go and try robbing people directly instead? Raged the other person. If you don't give me the money. Don't even think about getting my secret. I failed the trial. And I want to use some money to make up for the pain of failure. So what? Everyone thought about it. This person was truly pitiful. Giving him some money could count as consolation. Fine. I'll give you 10,000. Here. Said a rich fellow. Tossing him 10,000 middle grade spirit stones. I'll only tell whoever pays me. You can't share it with anyone else. That person's eyes brightened. Courting death. Do you believe me when I say I'll crush you right here? Roared everyone. That person's heart shook. Afraid of being beaten. He said. The staircase has some kind of formation. It's very frightening. Fuck. Are you asking to be beaten? That explanation didn't appease them at all. What kind of answer was this? It wasn't worth a damn, let alone 10,000 middle grade spirit stones. A few of them were just about to teach him a lesson. Don't hit me, don't hit me. It's the truth. It's very frightening, cried that person. Don't make things hard on him. It should be a kind of formation that causes terror to the soul. Everyone's concept of terror is different, so there's no way for him to explain it clearly said Xiao Ziyan. Since Xiao Ziyan had spoken, they released him. One of them said, but Long Chen and the others, perhaps they don't have any fear. Xiao Ziyan looked at those free and easygoing figures on the staircase and sighed, a complicated expression in her eyes. Previously, when I was with senior apprentice brother Long Chen, he said that the reason experts are experts is because they have the determination to get stronger. They have to know why they want to get stronger and find their own motivation. That becomes their conviction. And once they find their conviction, they can completely stabilize their Dao heart and become fearless, said someone. What useless words. It's just a problem of big or small gods. Those afraid of death shouldn't come, said one person icily. Infuriated, the other person was just about to curse that person when he saw that the person talking was the Western Desert's Yan Machen. He swallowed his words. It's just a stupid staircase. But you brought up such useless principles? Warriors from the Western Desert. Let's go. Let them see that everything else is nonsense in front of true power. Yan Machen sneered and led the Western Desert's people onto the staircase. But when he stepped onto the first one, his body clearly shuddered. He hid it well, but everyone saw his expression change for a moment. However, Yan Machen was truly powerful. He quickly got used to the feeling and continued onwards. But the people behind him were clearly unable to keep up with him. Although they had been prepared. They were pale and clearly felt climbing the staircase to be extremely taxing. But after getting used to it for a while, they continued onwards. Following the western desert's movements, Xiao Ziyan also went up the stairs, followed by Wei Changhe. Xiao Ziyan frowned irritably and quickened her steps. Han Yanchen had no choice but to follow with all the experts starting to move. But many people found the climbing to be extremely difficult. Some people only lasted for a couple dozen steps before becoming unable to move and being sent out. Only once they truly stepped onto the staircase did they understand its terror. It was like each step up was another step closer to death. Illusions appeared in their minds. It was like they were seeing a mountain of blades and a sea of fire in front of them. As though if they kept going forward, the Grim Reaper sickle would fall on their necks. 
although they could clearly tell themselves it was fake, that they were just illusions, that it was just a trial. This was a terror that came from the depths of their soul. They were unable to resist. Quite a few disciples were constantly being sent off the staircase. Once they failed, they couldn't try again, but no one laughed at them. All the disciples on the staircase had no idea how much longer they would be able to endure either. As they advanced, the feeling of terror grew even stronger. Many of them were starting to buckle, their legs not listening to their orders, but looking at the dragon blood warriors at the front, they clenched their teeth and persevered. How unexpected. Perhaps a few more disciples can pass like this. Mu Kingsuan smiled. Seeing other people succeeding would promote more confidence, which allowed new people to succeed as well. The 300th stair. All the elders were focused on Long Chen. The dragon blood warriors behind him were exactly 10 steps behind him just like they had been from the start. They hadn't fallen even one step behind. The 334th stair. When Long Chen stepped onto the 334th stair, the entire Elder Hall's palace became silent. Chapters 1008 Information about the Skywood Divine Palace Translator. Born to be Long Chen's foot landed on the 334th step. In that instant, he felt space suddenly twist, and time seemed to grow slow. In that instant, everything suddenly became distant and indistinct. Each step seemed like an uncrossable cliff. This is a test of will. Long Chen smiled slightly. He had experienced this kind of trial already in the Eastern Wasteland. He trusted that everyone had experienced that trial as well. But compared to the original Netherworld Heaven Staircase in the Eastern Wasteland, this trial was many times stronger. Furthermore, each step brought them closer to the two terrifying drakes. That made it so people didn't dare to advance. This was a test of metal, will, and toughness. But this still wasn't enough to stop Long Chen. The difficulty of these steps was far from enough to slow him down. What? No reaction at all. The elders watching were all shocked. Long Chen's rhythm didn't change in the slightest. His will is frighteningly firm. It isn't disturbed in the slightest by outer forces, said the Hall Master. With the trial of the steps along with the pressure of the powerful Zuan beasts, a person's will would easily crumble. It truly is terrifying. Previously, no matter how strong the genius was, they would at least need a few breaths to get accustomed before continuing, sighed an elder. In the fight amongst heavenly geniuses, there are red flowers and green leaves that set each other off. But as for who is the flower and who is the leaf, there are many variables, said the hall master. You mean that Long Chen could, probed one of the elders. Everything's too early to say. Just calmly watch, said the hall master. The elders turned silent. They understood the hall master's meaning. But was that really possible? No matter how big the leaf was, it couldn't bloom. Long Chen's footsteps didn't change. But behind him, Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, and the others all paused for an instant. Their bodies swayed. Big bro Gu Yang, I'll entrust myself to you. Treat me well. And after this, Junior brother will definitely repay your kindness a thousand times over. It's regretful that I was born a man, or I would definitely give my heart to you. Guo Ran was covered in sweat, and he tightly held Gu Yang's hand. Guo Ran, I will toss you aside if you continue, raged Tang Wan'er. Guo Ran's constitution was the weakest. No, he was the weakest of all of them in terms of almost everything. Having followed them to this point was his limit. Don't worry, go in peace. Gu Yang knocked Guo Ran unconscious and carried him on his back as he continued onwards. Cheating. I wish to report an egregious violation of the rules. Seeing Gu Yang use this method to let someone pass, quite a few people were filled with rage and shouted, This isn't against the rules. If you feel like it's cheating, you can cheat as well. But let me tell you, if you carry someone, the difficulty will double, said Mu Kingsuan. Those people immediately had to shut their mouths and sadly continue. Long Chen was the furthest up the Zhuanchen staircase. As for Tang Wan'er and the others, they were originally 10 steps behind him, but now they were over 30 behind. By this level, they also felt immense pressure and could no longer advance as easily before. Their speed dropped slightly. When Long Chen reached the 666th step, they were over 50 steps behind him. As for the other three regions' heavenly geniuses, they were all stuck behind the dragon blood warriors, unable to close the distance at all. This final test wasn't something they could pass through talent. Their advantage had vanished, while their weaknesses were completely exposed. Yan Machen, Han Yunshan, and Wei Chang He were green with fury. They had originally been thinking to move out later but still reach the top before Long Chen in order to show the others that they were far above him. But who would have thought that let alone surpassing Long Chen, 
they were unable to even catch up to the ordinary dragonblood warriors, they could only watch their butts as they advanced. Quite a few disciples had washed out and were listlessly watching. Long Chen's figure was far too conspicuous on the Zhuangshan staircase. He only got further ahead of the others. His speed stayed the same the entire time. Long Chen's foot released a light sound as he stepped onto the 667th step. Immediately after that, his other foot raised and he continued forward. This is definitely impossible. The previous deathly silence of the elders was completely broken now. The third part tests their negative emotions. It's a battle against themselves. How could it be so easy? They didn't dare to believe their eyes. Does he not have any negative emotions? Proposed one of the elders brazenly. How could that be possible? Let alone humans. Even gods have negative emotions. Someone directly tore apart that theory. I'm going insane. This makes no sense. The elders were incapable of understanding this. There were a few of them were lost in thought though. Those elders were the ones who had been present when the patriarch had sent out the orders. They were all thinking that perhaps only someone like this was capable of drawing the patriarch's attention. But the majority of the elders hadn't been present for that. They were unable to explain what was happening. As this matter surpassed their understanding. Hall Master, an erudite person like you must understand what's happening. Please explain it to us, begged the elders. This situation has never occurred before, so I can't explain it either. But I have once heard of an extremely monstrous trial back in the Immortal Era, said the Hall Master. A monstrous trial from the Immortal Era? Are you talking about? Yes. Legend is that there was a monstrous trial known as the True Self Trial. The odds of success were less than one in a million. Perhaps some of you haven't heard about it, but the trial is to defeat your yourself in a battle. And most monstrous of all, the you that the trial creates will be slightly stronger than you, possesses all your techniques and experience, and their spiritual yuan will never run out, said the hall master. Then how is that any different than suicide? To challenge someone you couldn't possibly defeat, wouldn't you be an idiot? Was it fun to kill yourself? There's pretty much no difference. Perhaps there were too many geniuses in the immortal era so they used this method to con a few of them into dying. But I have heard that anyone who defeats a stronger version of themselves will have their soul sublimate and will never be suppressed by their negative emotions. Their Deo hearts are incomparably firm and will not waver, said the hall master. Could it be that Long Chen? It's not very likely. Even if he had the urge to kill himself like that, he would need to find such a trial first. Where would he find such trials nowadays? That's not certain. Have you forgotten about the immemorial path? Perhaps he found such a trial in there. Long Chen had to focus to sense his negative emotions as he advanced. He sensed laziness, negativity, despair, exhaustion, and he even seemed to be able to hear voices telling him to give up. But those feelings were very weak. If he didn't intentionally try to sense them, he wouldn't feel them at all. To him, this third part wasn't even as strong as the previous two parts. He smiled slightly. He understood the true meaning of the Zhuangshan staircase. The destruction of the mind was far more effective than pressure to the physical body, and also much more frightful. But he wasn't worried about the dragonblood warriors. Each one of them had experienced countless brushes past the Grim Reaper. This trial wasn't able to cause them much trouble. However, it would be troublesome for the other disciples. Their movements were extremely slow now. As time passed, their drive would slowly diminish. Then when they reached the part testing their negative emotions, they would be unable to see hope and completely break apart. Long Chen's foot finally stepped onto the 999th stair. He stood right in front of Mu Kingsuan. From here, the huge gate overflowed with an ancient charm, and that Zuan character on it seemed to contain the secrets of the universe. He saw the most profound principles of heaven and earth within it, but then when he looked closer, he couldn't see any of it at all. Congratulations on passing. Junior apprentice brother Long Chen's power is worthy of admiration, said Mu Kingsuan. She had seen Long Chen climb up as if this was just an ordinary staircase. Although she couldn't comprehend this, she knew he had definitely passed through with his own strength. In front of these two terrifying 10th rank Zuan beasts, no one could cheat. It was just luck, said Long Chen humbly. Senior apprentice sister Kingsuan, have you heard of the Skywood Divine Palace? Mu Kingsuan smiled. Of course I've heard of it. The Skywood Divine Palace is extremely famous in the Central Plains. If it weren't for a dislikable fellow, perhaps I'd already be a disciple of the Skywood Divine Palace. Long Chen was delighted to hear this. A gentle figure appeared in his mind, and his heart blazed. Then how far is the Skywood Divine Palace from the Zhuangshan Dao sect? 
it's not that far. But you couldn't be thinking about moving sects, right? Let me warn you. The Skywood Divine Palace only accepts wood attribute disciples. Laugh Mu Kingsuan. Senior apprentice sister is joking. In truth, I have a lover in the Skywood Divine Palace. We've been apart for a long time already, and I miss her. Just thinking about Chu Yao made Long Chen's heart ache. He wondered how she had been during these past few years. It's nice that you care, but I feel like you should first think of a way to establish yourself in the Zhuanchen Dao sect before thinking about other things, advised Mu Kingsuan. Many thanks for your reminder. Junior brother understands. Long Chen cupped his hands in thanks. Having obtained some information about the Skywood Divine Palace, his spirits were raised. Yaoer, just wait. I'll quickly find you. Chapter 1009 Rejecting a Beautiful Woman Translator Born to be seeing Long Chen reach the top gave countless people hope. They did their best to climb, but some didn't even manage to reach the second part before being sent out. There were people failing with each passing moment. Currently, 300,000 people were still persevering on the Zhuanchen staircase, and the majority of them had reached the middle section. As for the Dragonblood Warriors, they were past the 800th step, but their speed was clearly much slower. However, their footsteps never paused. In truth, there's no need to go all out like this. As long as they keep advancing, slowing down will save energy. Mu Kingsuan shook her head as she watched the Dragonblood Warriors climbing while sparing no effort. They know that, said Long Chen. If they know, why bother? They aren't fighting against the Zhuanshan staircase but against themselves. That's why they are climbing so quickly, to push themselves to their limits. Our talent is only average, and our origins are low. To reach our current height, we had to bleed and sweat. We have to go all out like this every day, to not give up any chance to improve ourselves. This kind of trial that has no threat to our lives is especially perfect. We can push ourselves to our limits, and then break those limits again and again. Only then can we increase the chances of our survival the most. Mu Kingsuan was startled. Long Chen's words were spoken carefully, but she could tell how much pain the Dragonblood Legion had endured. All of you are true warriors praised Mu Kingsuan. Well, there was no other choice to live. We could only get stronger. Long Chen bitterly smiled. The Dragonblood Warriors didn't hold back at all, climbing as fast as they could. They felt weary, but they did that on purpose. The wearier they were, the more they could excavate their potential. They were using their powerful negative emotions to encourage themselves. Yan Machen, Wei Changhe, and Han Yanchen were being thrown further and further into the distance despite doing their best. Originally, they were only 50 steps behind, but now that they were over a hundred steps behind, causing them to clench their teeth in fury, the three of them were rank 5 celestials, but they were actually unable to catch up. Instead, the distance only grew larger. This was a silent slap in the face. At this time, Xiao Ziyan slowly surpassed and created an uncrossable distance between them, infuriating them even more. How stupid. Afraid their own negative emotions weren't enough, they added envy on as well said Long Chen. They truly are a bit foolish. Mu Kingsuan was unable to retort against that. During the final section, a person's negative emotions would burst out and rapidly grow. The more envious they were, the more furious they became and the more difficult it would be to advance. Perhaps the three of them had still yet to understand the meaning of the Zhuanshan staircase. A beautiful figure stepped onto the 999th stair. It was Tang Wanur. Her face was a bit pale, and she was covered in sweat but within her weariness was excitement. It's been hard on you. Long Chen smiled and used a handkerchief to gently wipe away her sweat, startling her. Long Chen. Tang Wanur was moved. This was the first time Long Chen treated her so warmly, even publicly pampering her like this. I can do it myself. She took the handkerchief and dabbed at her sweat, but while stealthily blocking Long Chen's sight, she dabbed away a few tears. Perhaps I should be kinder to her, thought Long Chen. Although Tang Wanner hid her movements well, she couldn't hide them from him. He felt a profound sense of self-blame. Tang Wanner was always fiery, direct and unyielding. Because she cared about him, she intentionally displayed some disdain for his conduct. But in truth, she needed care as well. However, she didn't want Long Chen to see her as weak. So she acted fiercely like a mother tigress. Long Chen had misunderstood her. She was a staunch woman and this inadvertent movement caused him to see another side to her. Wanur, I'm sorry, I haven't looked after you enough. Long Chen sincerely apologized and pulled Tang Wanur into his embrace. Tang Wanur jumped in surprise. You've gone crazy. There are so many people here. You'll be laughed at. 
she rebuked. She quickly escaped from his grasp, and while her face was red, she had a warm smile. Let me see who dares to laugh? I'll curse them to never find a woman in their lifetime, said Long Chen grandly. Then it's fortunate that I'm not afraid of this curse. I'm not looking for women, laughed Mu Kingsuan from the side. Cough, senior apprentice sister, naturally you don't count, laughed Long Chen awkwardly. Aya, suddenly, a startled cry rang out with a bang. Guo Ran had been tossed to the ground. You really worked me to death. Gu Yang was soaked in sweat, looking like he had just climbed out of a pool. Even the stone beneath his feet was wet. Carrying Guo Ran had completely exhausted him. Brother, it's been hard on you. Junior brother must repay your kindness shut up. It'd be better for you to pour me some water and prove your gratefulness with your actions instead of your glib words. Gu Yang sat on the ground. Guo Ran hastily prepared some tea. If it hadn't been for Gu Yang, he wouldn't have been able to reach this point even if he exhausted himself to death. He had to quickly repay this favor. The other Dragonblood warriors arrived one by one. Each one of them was weary to the bone, but their eyes were full of pride. They were the first ones to reach the top of the Zuanshan staircase, leaving even rank 5 celestials in their dust. That was an honor. Furthermore, they had obtained a new status now that they had climbed the staircase. Disciples of the Zuanshan Dao sect this was their first step in establishing their footing in the central plains. Six hours later, Xiao Ziyan also arrived, but she clearly wasn't as tired as them. In fact, she seemed like it had been quite effortless. Congratulations. In the future, we'll be part of the same sect, so I'll have to ask you to look after me. Long Chen greeted Xiao Ziyan once she arrived. Brother Long overpraises me. It should be you looking after me. Is the Dragonblood Legion accepting new people? Do I have the qualifications to join? Xiao Ziyan smiled. I, Long Chen was startled, never having expected her to ask such a question. The Dragonblood Legion wasn't something just anyone could join. This question made him feel awkward. If he flatly refused, it would be too awkward. Junior sister was just joking. Brother Long, don't take it seriously. I'm tired, so I'll go rest. Xiao Ziyan laughed and said goodbye. Finding an isolated place to sit. Once Xiao Ziyan left, Tang Wan'er whispered, This sister is angry. What are you talking about? I don't see any anger, said Long Chen. I'm a woman, and this is my woman's intuition, said Tang Wan'er. Seeing Long Chen ignore her, she continued, If a beautiful woman wants to join, why would you decline? Don't you like beautiful women the most? Exactly. Exactly Guo Ran hastily shut his mouth when Long Chen glared at him. Our Dragonblood Legion is a complete whole, and we've all saved each other's lives. Others can't join just because their cultivation base is high, their talent is good, or they're beautiful. The reason we're so strong together is because we're united and can trust each other. A stranger joining in would bring danger to the entire Legion. So how could I let an outsider join so easily? Said Long Chen. Seeing how solemn he was, Tang Wan'er stopped speaking. Guo Ran also kept a hand clamped over his mouth. They understood. Although Tang Wan'er's words had been partly a joke to tease Long Chen, she hadn't expected Long Chen to be thinking so much. He couldn't bring danger to the entire Dragonblood Legion because he wanted to pick up girls. Two hours later, Han Yanchen and the others also finally reached the top. Their expressions were exceedingly ugly, and they were panting for breath, appearing extremely miserable. Due to their envy and hatred for Long Chen, their path had been even more difficult. That had made them waste even more time and energy. More and more disciples began to arrive. Some of them directly fainted upon reaching the top and relaxing. Currently, only 30,000 people passed. Over 400,000 people had washed out. And there were still many people persevering on the staircase. Suddenly, a huge hourglass appeared at the top of the staircase. Mu Kingsuin announced. There are still three days left. The people still on the staircase should work hard. Seeing that hourglass, quite a few people's expressions changed. Their power was limited, and they were climbing at a snail's pace right now. Now that there was a time limit, the pressure immediately increased. As a result, quite a few disciples immediately gave up once the hourglass appeared. They knelt on the stairs, and were directly sent off the Zuanshan staircase. This hourglass caused many people's confidence to shatter. They felt like there was no hope, and continuing to fight had no meaning. One after another, figures were sent off the Zuanshan staircase. Only 10,000 people were still persevering. The majority of them were around the 800th stair, with a small portion around the 700th stair. As for the 600th stair, only a few dozen people were still bitterly enduring, unwilling to give up. 
idiots. I gave up and I was already on the 700th stair. For them to stupidly continue at the 600th stair, there's no hope at all, mocked someone. But Long Chen couldn't help but not when he saw those few people still bitterly enduring despite there being no hope. As long as the results weren't in, the opportunities were still in your hands. The only way to lose was to give up, even if it was just the slightest, ephemeral bit. It was still an opportunity. Not giving up was in itself a remarkable drive. Time's up, announced Mu Kingsuin as the final grain of sand fell. Chapter 1010 quelled them through viciousness translator. Born to be the few people still persevering on the Zhuanshan staircase all had a sad glimmer in their eyes when Mu Kingsuin's voice rang out. As for the people who had long since given up, their derision increased. The mission is accomplished. We're leaving. The two huge figures suddenly disappeared from their sight. The terrifying pressure instantly vanished with them. It was like a huge boulder had been lifted from everyone's hearts. They relaxed, feeling like the sky had become brighter. Once both of the 10th rank Zuan beasts had left, Mu Kingsuan smiled at the disciples sitting on the stairs. Congratulations. According to the rules, any disciples who are on the 500th stair and above when the time is up pass. What? Everyone was startled, not daring to believe their ears. That was especially true of those disciples who had reached past the 700th stair before giving up. The 10,000 disciples that were on the Zhuanshan staircase began to weep tears of joy and excitement. Some even wailed and repeatedly kissed the staircase. Now there were over 90,000 disciples who had passed. 10,000 of those were people who had refused to give up despite already despairing. They had also known there was no hope, but they hadn't been able to give up. This is unfair. Why didn't you say this beforehand? You were conning people. Some people began to furiously roar. The disciples who had failed the trial immediately erupted in fury, feeling like they had been cheated. That was especially true of those talented rank 4 celestials. Their shouting was the most ferocious. Some even spouted the wildest profanities, crying about how this was cheating and that they wanted to take the trial again. Everyone, calm down shouted Mu Kingsuan, but she was unable to control such a chaotic scene. It's unfair. Why didn't you state the rules at the beginning? The trial must be held again. Exactly. Restart the trial. There's definitely something fishy. Or how could those eastern wasteland dogs climb up so easily? That's right. They were clearly cheating. The eastern wasteland dogs were cheating. So the trial must be held again. The screaming only grew more and more intense. Mu Kingsuin panicked as things went completely out of her control. Novaloon.com The elders watched this chaotic scene with dark expressions. How were this year's disciples so shameful? Hall Master, send a few people to suppress them. Mu Kingsuin is still too young and can't handle it, said an elder. No need. Young people need trials to grow. This child Kingsuin is a steady person, but she's not bold enough and needs to toughen up. Anyway, a group of children is unable to cause any ripples, said the hall master. Hearing the hall master's orders, the elders stayed quiet. The scene they were watching was completely chaotic. Charge. If those despicable eastern wasteland dogs can cheat their way into becoming the Zhuanshan Deo sect's disciples, then we can too. Suddenly, a person shouted and charged onto the staircase with a sinister smile. He was the one Long Chen had slapped before. Zi Wei. The formation had been deactivated, and the pressure of the Zuan beasts had vanished as well, allowing them to charge up easily. It was true that from the start, Long Chen had passed through the trials easily. It could look like cheating. Furthermore, even the Dragonblood warriors had so easily passed this trial, with even rank 5 celestials thrown behind them. With the urging shouts of some people, some of them began to believe more and more that the Eastern Wasteland's people had cheated. You. Stop. Otherwise. I won't be courteous. Mu Kingsuin was startled and infuriated. But in front of this tide-like charge of furious disciples, she found herself at a loss for what to do. If you have any guts, just try and kill us all. You think you can open the back door to the Eastern Wasteland dogs while not allowing us to retort? We want justice sneered Zi Wei as he led everyone charging forward. You, you. Mu Kingsuin was so infuriated she turned deathly pale. She formed hand seals. But even after a long time, no attack was released. Let me. Long Chen shook his head and pointed his finger. A bolt of lightning shot out at the one at the very front. Zi Wei. Zi Wei had never imagined that Long Chen would dare to attack him. He had no time to block with his weapon. And he hastily summoned a runic barrier around him but it was instantly torn through by the bolt of lightning, and he was blown apart into bloody mist. With one attack, a rank 4 celestial at the very front had been killed, shocking everyone. Bastard, 
You dare to kill people. I don't believe you dare to kill us all. A person shouting in the crowd didn't even manage to finish speaking before being killed by a lightning arrow. His soul was destroyed, and his corpse non-existent. Everyone stopped. Mu Kingsuan jumped in fright, as even she didn't have the authority to kill people. Kill all those who cursed us, said Long Chen coldly. Boss, those were the words I was waiting for. A crossbow appeared in Guo Ran's hands, and golden arrows shot out like bolts of lightning. With each attack, a person in the crowd would explode. Stop, shouted Mu Kingsuan, but Guo Ran ignored her. His crossbow continued to launch arrow after arrow, eliciting miserable cries from the crowd. Those overbearing, aggressive people immediately panicked. People amongst them continued to explode, splattering them with blood. Boss, there were 57 people who cursed us. They've all been handled. Guo Ran put away his golden crossbow. Everyone was deathly silent, looking in horror at the emotionless Long Chen and the pleased Guo Ran. They were unable to say anything. Seeing that Guo Ran's killing had stunned the disciples who had been washed out, Long Chen icily said, If anyone else wants to question the power of my Eastern Wasteland's disciples, please go ahead, Long Chen. You, how could you be so vicious to those from the same sect? You've gone too far, shouted Yan Machen. Idiot, who said they were from the same sect? They've already failed, so they aren't disciples of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, sneered Long Chen. But, but they're still disciples of the branch sects. How could you be so vicious and merciless to them? Han Yunchen also stood out. Exactly. Whether or not they were disciples of the branch sects, they are still humans. How can you kill them without the slightest pity? Demanded Wei Chang He. The three of them were clearly standing together to target Long Chen. The disciples who had failed once more began to curse at him when they saw the three of them support their cause. Exactly. Eastern Wasteland Dogs A person who had barely opened their mouth was killed by Guo Ran. Guo Ran's crossbow was constantly being upgraded as his forging skills improved, and at this distance, there was no stopping it. Continue, Guo Ran pointed his crossbow at those people below, with such a terrifying crossbow pointing at them, their scalps turned numb. Although they had seen Guo Ran shoot several arrows, they were appalled to find that they were unable to even see the arrows, only able to faintly see a golden light before another person was killed. It was too fast for them to react, let alone dodge or block. These disciples instantly turned pale, not daring to speak. They looked from the crossbow to the pools of blood on the ground. Long Chen, how dare you order your subordinate to kill people? You shouted Yan Machen. A nation has a nation's laws, a family has a family's rules, and a sect has a sect's rules. Right now, they've washed out but dare to charge onto the important land of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. They've broken the rules of the trial and gravely harmed the prestige of the sect even if I killed them all. There would be nothing wrong with it. You say they are the sect's disciples? For the sect's disciples to break the sect's rules, discriminate against a region's disciples, incite inner strife in the sect, and try to destroy the sect from the inside, they deserve death all the more. You should rejoice. If it weren't for a promise I made to one my beauties to control my temper, well, if it was me from a year ago, you'd have long since gone into the path of reincarnation, said Long Chen. You, you're just twisting words. Yan Machen was unable to find a way to retort Long Chen's words. When it came to eloquence, even ten of him weren't a match for Long Chen. Don't play such childish games with me. I don't have time for such senseless things. If you make me lose my patience, I'll kill all of you. Long Chen's gaze swept over the three of them, his killing intent suddenly surging. In that instant, the three of them felt like space had frozen around them. A fierce sensation of death made all their hair stand on end, let alone the three of them. Even Mu Kingsuan was affected. She had never come into contact with such a terrifying killing intent. It was like just his killing intent could take a person's life. Long Chen was truly angry now. Although he had promised Men Qi not to cause trouble and reign in his temper, that didn't mean he would just grin and bear everything. He wouldn't take the initiative to cause trouble. But if someone wanted to try to bully him, well, there was no way he was going to endure it. This was Long Chen's final warning to them. If the three of them still tried to find trouble for him and slow down his growth, then he wouldn't hesitate to pay any price to cut the three of them down. Everyone was deathly silent, because they were within the range of that terrifying killing intent. They didn't dare to move, feeling like a death god scythe was pressed against their necks. Long Chen, as a disciple of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, you dare to indiscriminately kill the innocent. Just who gave you that authority? Suddenly, a cold shout rang out. Space twisted and two new figures appeared in the sky. 
Those two figures wore black robes and had long chains in their hands. The jade plate on their waists had the law character written on them. Long Chen's eyes narrowed upon one of them. That was a familiar face. Lu Minghan. Long time no see. I'm relieved to see your head has reattached so seamlessly. Chapter 1011 Contest of Strength Translator Born to be only Mu Kingsuan was aware of Long Chen's past interaction with Lu Minghan. In the eastern wasteland, he had once cut off Lu Minghan's head. Of course, that was just because Lu Minghan had been careless. It didn't truly represent Long Chen had the power to fight against kings. The other disciples present were unaware of this. Through his words, it seemed that he knew this elder and had also once cut off his head. They doubted his words at first, but Lu Minghan's furious expression verified his words. That scared them witless. What kind of monster was Long Chen? Long Chen, you're courting death. Raged Lu Minghan, killing intent erupting out of him. I don't know whether or not I'm courting death, but I do know that you definitely are. If I could cut off your head once, I can cut it off again. And this time, I guarantee I won't give you any chance to reconnect it, said Long Chen. Originally, Long Chen had no intention of infuriating Lu Minghan, as that wasn't a smart move. But thinking of how this bastard had been greedy for his treasures and tried to use Soul Sark on him, his hatred got the better of him. If he was stronger, he'd definitely go all out to kill him right now and then flee from the Zuanshan Dao sect but right now, he was too weak and could only endure. However, he wouldn't give up any chance to humiliate his opponents. His words caused everyone to suck in a cold breath of air. Their guess was right. He had truly once cut off the head of a king. That made their hair stand on end. Especially those disciples who had failed the trial and tried to charge up by saying Long Chen had cheated. Their thought was that the law was unable to punish so many people and that no one would dare to do anything to them. And by saying that the Eastern Wasteland's people had cheated, there was a high chance they would be able to muddle their way into the Zuanshan Dao sect now they realized how wrong they were. Long Chen was someone who dared to cut off the head of a king, so of course he dared to kill them. Thinking of that, they felt that life was a blessing. Just now, they had truly brushed past a death god, even Yan Machen, Wei Changhe and Han Yanchen's expressions changed, their faces pale as paper. They hadn't known Long Chen had such a terrifying history. That was especially true of Han Yanchen and Wei Changhe. They had exchanged blows with Long Chen. No, that was wrong. They hadn't exchanged blows. They had been beaten like children. As soon as they had attacked, Long Chen had knocked them unconscious with a slap to the face. Little brood, you want to offend your superiors? You've slaughtered innocent people. So you need to be brought to the law enforcement hall to receive your punishment. Lu Minghan's face was ashen with rage. The other person who had come with him was a stern-looking man. With a cold snort, the chain in his hand flew toward Long Chen. The chain was like a bolt of lightning. A terrifying pressure descended. One that froze space and made it so none of them could move. This was the irresistible pressure of a king. The disciples felt like an invisible hand was wrapped around them. And it was like they would be crushed to death with just a thought. Furthermore, what they were enduring was just some aftershocks. Long Chen was the one the pressure was focused upon. The chain seemed to fill heaven and earth. It possessed some bizarre law that made it impossible to dodge. Despite knowing he couldn't block it, Long Chen was just about to go all out. But suddenly, a large hand caught it. Matters of the disciple trials aren't for the law enforcement hall to interfere with. An elder appeared in front of Long Chen. Li Changfang. Lu Minghan ground his teeth furiously. He was still infuriated about being suppressed by him last time. He had been unable to retaliate because all the evidence said that he was the one who had been in the wrong. Li Changfen waved a hand, and the person who had sent out the chain immediately felt a powerful force knock him back dozens of steps. That person shouted, The disciples' trials are under the purview of the elders' hall, but now someone has broken the rules and willfully slaughtered innocent people. It has exceeded the scope of the Elders Hall's responsibility and must be handled by the Law Enforcement Hall. Today, Long Chen, as well as the killer using the crossbow, must be brought away by us. As expected, no matter where he went, there were always muddied waters. Looking at Lu Minghan clenching his teeth as well that sanctimonious fellow, Long Chen sneered inside. His delight in arriving in the Central Plains had diminished a great deal. To him, the Central Plains was a battlefield even crueler than the last. As for the Zhuangshan Dao sect, it would very likely just be a starting point. How did he break the rules and slaughter the innocent? Killing those people wasn't against the rules, but protecting the rules. Long Chen saw that Mu Kingsuan's hands were tied and she had lost control of the situation, so he had no choice but to quell the uprising. Otherwise, 
there would have been even greater casualties. There was nothing wrong with Long Chen's actions. Furthermore, those people weren't innocent. They failed the trial, and because of their resentment, they wanted to break the rules of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's trial. Each time we hold this trial, it is an opportunity to bring in fresh blood to the Zhuangshan Dao sect, and that makes it an important event that decides whether the sect will rise or decline. How could people trying to ruin that important event be called innocent? said Li Changfang. Although his tone was calm, his words seemed to possess blades, making his opposition unable to say a word in retort. Li Changfeng's mouth was indeed the sharpest. Even so, Long Chen can't just kill people of his own discretion. He doesn't have that authority. If everyone was like that, the Zhuangshan Dao sect would become completely chaotic. He was simply acting in accordance with the situation, and in order to protect the sect, he had no choice but to be vicious. That requires bravery and courage. The hall master himself said that his conduct should be rewarded. If someone worked so hard for the sect but was punished instead of being rewarded, don't you think it would bitterly disappoint the sect's members? Said Li Changfang. You, you're just spouting sophistry, inverting right and wrong, raged Lu Minghan's fellow expert. Somehow killing people had become something just and to be rewarded? He was clearly twisting his words. I think that's enough. This matter can be handled by the elders hall on its own. There's no need for the law enforcement hall to waste the effort. If you dislike this, you can go register a complaint at the Zhuangshan Tower instead of shouting here and ruining the image of the sect leave now, and don't disturb the trial's process again, or we'll be the ones to register a complaint, said Li Changfen coldly. Now his words contained no courtesy at all. He was expelling them like two dogs. In truth, Li Changfen's arrival here was set up by the hall master. The law enforcement hall's hands had stretched too far in the past few years. It dissatisfied the hall master, and he was no longer planning on enduring it. Good, Li Changfang, just you wait, and you Long Chen, pray you don't land in my hands. Otherwise, he, Lu Minghan glared at Long Chen. Long Chen smiled and said, hurry up and fuck off. Threats won't show your dignity. Instead, it'll just expose your idiocy and treachery. For a law enforcement elder to be so petty as to threaten a disciple of the Dao sect for personal reasons, you really are trash. I wonder, what kind of place is the law enforcement hall for it to raise such a tyrannical and selfish blockhead like you? If people like you were to enforce the law, well, I don't believe you wouldn't harbor any selfish intentions. You'd frame and entrap people if it was to your benefit. How are you supposed to carry out the law fairly? Long Chen's words were even less courteous than Li Changfang's. They were like slaps in the face. Long Chen. Let's just wait and see then. Lu Minghan ground his teeth. He had no choice but to leave with the other law enforcement elder. Once the two of them left, Li Changfen looked over everyone, and his gaze landed on Long Chen in the end. Take care of how far you go, warned Li Changfeng. Many thanks for the reminder, elder. Long Chen bowed slightly. He understood what he meant. He was telling him not to overstep, as long as he didn't go too far. The elders' hall would protect him, but once he went too far, he would have exposed an opening to the law enforcement hall, and then it would be troublesome. Long Chen now realized something. He was being used in a competition of strength between the law enforcement hall and the elder hall. He had become the elders' hall's weapon, but he didn't mind. When joining a tangled and complicated power, you had to choose a side. Wanting to offend no one was a fool's dream. The most important thing was to choose the right supporter. Having completely destroyed his bridges with Lu Minghan, the Elder Hall was the best choice. Furthermore, through the characters of Li Changfeng and Lu Minghan, he was almost sure that the Elder Hall was much friendlier than the Law Enforcement Hall. The trial is to continue. If anyone else dares to wildly make accusations, they'll be executed immediately, said Li Changfeng before vanishing from their sight. Those disciples that had failed didn't dare to make a sound. Their indignation was completely quelled. Mu Kingsuan finally had a chance to say, the disciples that failed the trial have two options. You can return to your old sect, or you can stay in the Zhuangshan Dao sect. We can stay. They were delighted and surprised. Yes, but if you do, you will not have the status or treatment of disciples. You'll be workers who are paid with cultivation resources. The bad news is that those resources will be very limited, and your room for growth will be minimal. It might be better for you to return to your original sect and be a tyrant there. The good news is that as long as you stay in the central plains, anything is possible. So ask yourselves if you're willing to bet your lives on a chance. That's all. Someone will come to get you in a bit. As for whether you want to stay or leave, think carefully. 
Your fates will be in your own hands. Mu Qingxuan led away the people who had passed. Amongst the disciples who had failed, the ones who had been spoiled didn't want to stay as workers. They felt it to be too embarrassing, and it would be better to return to their old homes and live out a glorious life. It was the ones who had come from poorer origins that wished to stay behind. Even if they returned, they wouldn't be able to become tyrants at their level. Congratulations on passing. Follow me. Welcome to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, said Mu Qingxuan. The huge stone gate slowly opened, the sound shaking their eardrums. Incredibly dense spiritual key crashed over them. Chapter 1012 Intersect Trial Translator Born to be the spiritual key was like a sea pouring over them. All their pores opened and greedily absorbed it. Long Chen was shocked to find that the spiritual key in the Zhuanshan Dao sect wasn't just dense. It also seemed to contain something he had never felt before. He was unable to describe it. Seeing this huge gate open before them, the hundred thousand disciples were incomparably excited. They followed Mu Qingxuan inside. As for the disciples outside, they could only watch as those figures disappeared within the sect then the thick gate closed tightly. Long Chen and the others followed Mu Qingxuan along a long path. The sides of the paths were lined with ancient trees thrumming with vitality. Dozens of miles in, a plaza appeared. The plaza was huge, several times bigger than the entire branch sect of the eastern wasteland. It was also much grander. At the center was a huge statue of a man. It was simple and majestic, seeming like a god overlooking the sky. They were surprised that the sea of people they had expected to see inside never appeared. Instead, there was only a single, long-haired man in the plaza. He stood there like a javelin planted in the ground, patiently waiting for them to get closer. His expression was icy, and faint runes were revolving in his eyes. Standing there, he gave off a dark feeling despite not having any of his aura leak. Greetings, Senior Apprentice Brother Sumo. Mu Kingsuan bowed slightly. It's been hard on you Junior Apprentice Sister Kingsuan. Leave the rest to me. The man called Sumo returned the bow. His tone was refined and courteous, but also felt a bit icy. A faint killing intent pervaded the air around him. This is a true expert. Long Chen's pupils shrank. He sensed immense pressure from this person. A pressure that was even greater than what he felt from the elders. Although Long Chen couldn't sense his aura. He was able to sense the foundation forging realm's spiritual fluctuations. However, the reason why Long Chen felt that this man had to be incredibly powerful was because of the killing intent resting within the depths of his soul. He had to be an expert who had slaughtered countless people. His killing intent permeated every single one of his cells. Even when he spoke calmly, his killing intent leaked out. Mu Kingsuan said, Then I'll leave it up to you. I'll take my leave. After saying that, she waved her hand and left them all blankly standing there. Sumo looked over them and shook his head. A fleeting emotion flashed in his eyes for too short of a time to see clearly, but Long Chen knew it was a kind of pity. However, when Sumo's gaze swept over the Dragonblood Legion, his eyes brightened slightly. His gaze suddenly stopped on Long Chen, and his eyes were like sharp blades that could see through his heart. Despite his electric gaze, Long Chen simply looked back at him without revealing the slightest emotion. Sumo's icy mouth curled into a smile. He nodded slightly. Not bad. There are at least a few decent ones. Everyone was startled. Not understanding what he was saying. But the pressure they felt from him made it so they didn't dare to ask. Let me introduce myself. I am Sumo. A disciple from the previous generation. Ten years ago. I stood here just like you. Looking at you. I remember countless faces full of anticipation and hope. However. Now that ten years have passed and I stand here once more, the majority of those people have been buried beneath the ground, said Sumo ignoring their shocked expressions. He continued, First, let me congratulate you. You've passed the initial trials and become a disciple of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Some of you relied on your talent to pass, and some relied on luck. But either way, those are still your strengths and there's nothing wrong about either. However, this is just the first step. The trials you've passed are for the outer sect. So right now, you are outer sect disciples. My mission is to lead you to the next trial. The trial for the inner sect. The inner sect trial. All the disciples were excited. Especially those disciples who were more talented. They almost couldn't wait. Looking at those excited expressions. The pity in Sumo's eyes increased. Inner sect disciples are treated a hundred times better than outer sect disciples. But meat pies don't fall from the sky. And even if they did, you'd need the power to receive them. Without that power, if you force it, the result is that you'll be smashed apart by that meat pie. As expected, the trial for the inner sect was much more difficult. 
Although Wang Mang had refused to tell Long Chen anything on the journey here from the eastern wasteland because it was forbidden according to the rules, just from his tone, Long Chen had been able to guess a few things. Su Mo continued, to put it in an ugly way, Otter sect disciples are just some high-grade workers. They help the sect handle many complicated things, but they're much better than the ordinary workers. They not only get greater rewards, but they have a set amount of time reserved for cultivation and also have limited access to some cultivation regions. However, Otter sect disciples are unable to completely focus on rapidly cultivating because they have to work to get their cultivation resources. Only inner sect disciples get free resources regardless of what they contribute to the sect if those free resources aren't enough. They can accomplish missions for more points and exchange those for resources. Certain cultivation regions are open to them all year round. He's probably about to get to the bad part. Long Chen side inside. Now that the benefits had been described, it was time for the other side of things. As if cooperating with him, Sumo said. However, let me say it again. If you want to eat the meat pie, you need the power to do so. You also need courage, as well as luck. That's because the inner sect trial is completely different from the outer sect trial. The outer sect trial was just a game for children with little danger, while the inner sect trial is true battle. The two words true battle struck like hammers in their hearts. When said in Sumo's dark and gloomy voice, it caused them all to feel a chill. When Sumo said these two words, they were full of bloodiness. The inner sect trial takes place on a bloody battlefield. Life is like a fragile flower there that can wither in an instant. The sect had me explain this to you so that you know that this trial is very cruel, and very bloody. The chances of losing your life are extremely high. It's a battlefield only true experts can survive. So carefully consider whether you want to attempt it. Although outer sect disciples have worse treatment, if your display is outstanding, you will still have a chance to enter the inner sect but if you fail the inner sect trial, you won't have any chance at all. His words resounded in their minds. The treatment that inner sect disciples received had filled them with anticipation, but now it was like a bucket of ice water had been poured over their heads. If you want to become an inner sect disciple, the first thing you'll need to do is to be prepared to give up your life. If you can't do that, then the chances of you surviving in the trial are less than one in a thousand. As your senior apprentice brother, I've seen many of my companions fall. I've seen their powerless struggle in the face of death. Once you enter that battlefield, don't vainly think that the people by your side will be able to save you. If people try to save you, they'll be placing themselves in danger and cutting their own chances of surviving. So, I am very bluntly advising all of you not to try it without thinking it over. Consider it carefully. Warn Sumo the air was tense, and it was like a stone was pressing against their hearts. They were deathly silent, and some people were almost unable to breathe. They were facing the excitement of being an inner sect disciple, as well as the threat of death. They struggled over this decision. Long Chen sighed. Sumo was being kind. These greenhouse flowers would definitely die in droves once they entered a true battlefield. That couldn't be blamed on them. The only ones that could be blamed were their sects that didn't understand that people couldn't be pampered. Now their disciples had a difficult decision before them. I've said everything I have to say. As for what you choose, it's up to you. If you want to participate in the inner sect trial, advance forward. If you don't want to, retreat, said Sumo following his words. The majority of people stepped forward. Only a few stepped back. Those people were the weakest, as well as the smartest. They felt content just being outer sect disciples. The majority of those who retreated were rank 3 celestials. Many of them were those who had bitterly struggled to the end on the Zuanshan staircase and only passed because of luck. Just that rudimentary trial had made them powerless, so they had no hope at all for the next one. The absolute majority advanced, while a small portion retreated. There was also a small portion that were still hesitating. Their talent was not bad, and they were stronger than average. They were unwilling to give up, but then thinking of how difficult the Zuanshan staircase had been to climb, the next trial would be even crueler and more difficult. Sumo didn't rush them, just calmly waiting for their decision. What they were experiencing, he had also experienced, so he wasn't the slightest bit impatient. Finally, after an hour, everyone had made their decision. There were 20,000 people who chose to give up, and 80,000 that chose to continue to the inner sect trial. Seeing this many people still wanted to participate in the inner sect trial, a helpless expression appeared in Sumo's eyes, but he didn't say anything. People quickly came to let the disciples who had given up away. 
they should be setting up their residences and positions. Once the outer sect disciples were led away, Sumo said, since you've chosen to participate in the inner sect trial, then as your senior apprentice brother, I can only wish you good luck. But before the trial, you have to meet a few people. Perhaps they can save your life on the battlefield. Countless runes on the floor tiles beneath their feet lit up. The space around them twisted, and they suddenly appeared in a dark and damp environment. Chapter 1013 merged with Heaven and Earth Translator. Born to be everyone found that they had been transported to a dark and damp environment. An aura of decay and death filled the air. They jumped in shock. Before they could clearly examine their surroundings, they were deeply shaken by the group of people in front of them. There was a sea of people staring coldly at them. A rough estimate put them at over 300,000. There were men and women amongst them, and they were all young. Although they were also sea expansion experts, they gave off heavy pressure just by standing there. They were like immovable mountains. True experts. Even Long Chen's heart shook. These people's auras weren't just condensed to the pinnacle, but their eyes were like blades. These people were completely different from the three outer regions' disciples. They were real experts who had seen blood before. Several people amongst them gave even Long Chen a sensation of heavy pressure. That made him understand something. Let me introduce you. The ones in front of you are disciples from the same generation as you. However, they are disciples from the central plains, said Sumo that shook the four regions' disciples. Although they had long since prepared themselves, having their guess confirmed still shocked them. That was because even though they were all at sea expansion, they could clearly sense immense pressure from these people, a pressure that made it hard for them to breathe. They definitely weren't on the same level. The Central Plains disciples looked at the bewildered disciples from the other four regions. Different emotions appeared in their eyes. Some were curious, some were disdainful, and some were icy. The four regions disciples didn't know what to think. Looking at those complicated expressions, Sumo said, I'm sure you feel a great deal of pressure but you don't need to feel inferior. It's not your fault. It's the fault of your sects. In order to achieve the highest results, your sects focused on the quantity of disciples, slightly neglecting quality. Thus, your power is a bit empty. This is also due to the Zuanshan Deo sects practices. The sect sends resources in accordance with how many disciples the branch sects can send to participate in the trial. So after making sure you were fat and plump, they sent you over. Because they were worried about losing out, they pampered you a hundred ways, not letting you participate in life and death battles. If you are shelved weapons that have rotted in storage, then these Central Plains disciples are weapons that have gone through countless temperings and begun to release their light. Hearing Sumo's cold and frank words, Long Chen couldn't help but nod. Sumo was worthy of being a true expert. His vision was sharp, and he dared to say whatever he wanted. In front of these disciples, he dared to criticize the Zhuanshan Deo sect's practices, that required a certain amount of courage. Furthermore, his words were absolutely correct. Other than the eastern wasteland, the other four regions were too peaceful. They naturally wouldn't need to risk their lives. There was no way around it for the eastern wasteland. Many good sprouts fell during the battles between righteous and corrupt paths. Even whole sects might be attacked, so there was no way to preserve the lives of their disciples. The Eastern Wasteland's disciples had no choice but to put their lives on the line, because if they didn't, they wouldn't have lives any longer, but the other three regions had it too good, and there was no reason for them to risk their lives. Now that Sumo said this, the three regions' disciples couldn't help but become a bit angry, they felt like their sects had limited their growth, but you shouldn't complain, complaining is forever the helpless display of the weak. The reason the strong become strong is because they are always searching for their own reason to get stronger. The reason the weak become weak is because they are always searching for excuses for their own laziness. Hard work is never late, and in the Zhuanshan Deo sect, as long as you are talented and work your hardest, you will eventually be able to release your light. However, your previous laziness and peace have overdrafted your luck. Now that you've decided to participate in the inner sect trial, the heavens will be taking everything that you owe. I tried to advise you not to participate, but you all still chose to try it. I don't know whether I should praise you for your courage or your foolishness. As your senior apprentice brother, I'll be ruthless and give you another blow. In your current state, it would be a miracle if even a third of you managed to survive the inner sect trial. Sumo shook his head. Hearing this, all their expressions changed. Although they had felt the inner sect trial would be difficult, this terrifying mortality rate caused their hearts to sink. Of every three of them, only one would survive. 
and those that survived had to be both strong and lucky. It is too late for regret. I'll direct you to a smart path right now. If you want to live, join one of the factions of the Central Plains Disciples. When the Central Plains Disciples arrive at the Zuanshan Deo sect, they don't need to participate in the Outer Sect trial. They can directly participate in the Inner Sect trial. They were originally elites, and each one of them has experienced over 10 life and death battles. You can't compare to their battle experience. In terms of talent, you might be around the same, but when it comes to combat strength, they are 10 times stronger than you. If you want to keep your lives, abandon your dignity and try to join them. The Four Regions Disciples didn't know what to say. Looking at those icy Central Plains Disciples, it felt like they were wagging their tails pitifully. They were geniuses, not beggars. Most importantly, even if someone did give up all their face, what if they refused you? Would you not feel ashamed to even keep on living? Sumo said to the Central Plains Disciples, in the Zuanshan Deo sect, you have to establish your own factions, so this is the best way to expand. Gold will eventually release its light, but once it does, it will quickly be taken away by others. This is now a test of your ability to see who is gold. The four regions disciples have unsteady foundations, but their talent is still high. They've passed the Zuanshan staircase, so their will is also firm enough. They aren't actually inferior to you, they're just lacking an opportunity to rise. So whether you're recruiting or joining, this is a good opportunity for you. Grab hold of it yourselves. Senior Apprentice Brother Sumo, can we form our own faction? We have the power to protect others, said Yan Machen. At the same time, Han Yunchen and Wei Changhe also stood with him. Quite a few disciples were following them. Long Chen shook his head. Yan Machen's intent was clear. As a rank 5 celestial, he definitely wouldn't lower his head to anyone. He wanted to work together with Han Yunchen and Wei Changhe to form their own faction. TCH, with your little power, just protecting yourself would be difficult enough. How do you have the power to protect others? A tall and skinny man from the Central Plains Disciples suddenly walked out. As soon as he did, the other four regions disciples were shocked. There were no fluctuations coming from him, but the space around him was constantly twisting. Heaven and earth seemed to ripple like he was standing in water. Some faint runes flickered around him, but that wasn't intentional or conscious. The realm of being merged with heaven and earth. Han Yunshan, Yan Machen, and Wei Changhe were all shocked. Others might not know, but they knew that this was a level only possible when one's heavenly Dao runes were condensed to a pinnacle. A portion of their runes would merge with heaven and earth. That was a realm only innate rank 5 celestials had the qualifications to reach. And even though the three of them were also innate rank 5 celestials, reaching the realm of merging their heavenly Dao runes with heaven and earth wasn't just a matter of talent. It also required comprehension. Correct. If a celestial hasn't even reached the realm of merging with heaven and earth, then they're no more than a dabbler celestial. Only once you reach this realm can you control heavenly Deo energy with just a thought. You're still a far cry from this point, said that man. But, even if I haven't reached that realm, it's just a matter of time. Even if I don't possess that ability, I'm still a rank 5 celestial. I have the power to protect myself, as well as the power to protect others, cried Yan Machen. Is that so? Then let's test that. I'll be your opponent. See if you can protect yourself. After saying that, no one even saw him bend his knees or raise his feet before he moved like a phantom. There was no sign at all, and by the time people realized he had moved, he was standing right in front of Yan Machen. Yan Machen was startled, and he let out a punch. His earth runes covered his fist, and still not feeling reassured, he summoned his great earthen armor. Shockingly, when Yan Machen's fist struck that thin man's body, his body exploded in an instant. What speed? Long Chen's eyes narrowed. Perhaps others hadn't seen. But the instant that man had been about to be struck by Yan Machen's fist, his feet had taken a strange step, and he had vanished. To others, it looked like his body had been destroyed by Yan Machen's fist, but he was just too fast. What was struck was just an afterimage. An icy sword pressed against Yan Machen's neck, its sharp edge easily going through Yan Machen's runic armor. Blood slowly seeped down the sword. For a moment, everyone was deathly silent. An icy voice rang out behind Yan Machen. Now tell me, how are you supposed to protect yourself, let alone others? Chapter 1014 The Differences 2 Great Translator, born to be his voice resounded in all their ears, and blood dripped down his sword drop by drop, causing everyone to smell the scent of death. This tall, skinny man was too terrifying. 
Even someone as strong as Yan Machen was unable to receive a single blow from him. If he had wanted to kill him, his head would already be rolling on the ground. It had happened so suddenly that it felt like it was over before it started. The four regions' disciples all felt a chill. The difference in power was too great. The Central Plains' disciples just indifferently watched, as if they had long since expected such a thing. There was faint derision in many of their eyes. Sumo didn't say a word. Everything was within his expectations. How powerful. What kind of footwork was that? Tang Wan'er was also shocked. She had exchanged blows with Yan Machen, and so she knew how strong he was. Last time, she had been able to fight evenly with him, even slightly winning, but she had been taking advantage of his minimal battle experience and using the openings between his moves. Even so, she had been unable to defeat Chiring him, but this person was able to defeat Chiring Yan Machen in one move. Although they were both rank 5 celestials, the difference was immense. In truth, this is normal. This is the power a rank 5 celestial should possess. Yan Machen and the others are truly marvels. You can't learn a rank 5 celestial's power by fighting them, said Long Chen. He felt his blood quicken, and he sensed excitement in his bones. That was a desire to fight against real experts. You, this was, it was just an accident. I wasn't properly prepared and didn't agree to fight you yet before you started. Yan Machen was sweating, but he still put on a strong act. Ha 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 ha. Hearing Yan Machen's quibbling, the Central Plains disciples laughed. He actually wanted to find such reasons for his loss. Did he think this was a game for children? Long Chen was also speechless. Even he was being laughed at indirectly. The Central Plains disciples weren't just laughing at Yan Machen, but also at all the four regions' disciples. Laughably childish. On the battlefield, will your enemies tell you that they're going to kill you before doing so? Sneered the tall, skinny man. Furthermore. I warned you, but you were unable to block. I didn't even use my heavenly Deo energy or activate my spirit blood. You're too weak. Your cultivation base might be high, but you don't know how to use it. A sheep with no claws is still prey no matter how big it grows. Since you aren't convinced, I'll give you another chance. The three of you can join hands. If you can receive three exchanges from me, you can go ahead and form your own faction. He put away his sword and looked at Yan Machen. Han Yanshan and Wei Chang He. His tone was flat without a hint of derision, but it was completely unacceptable to them. Fine, then we'll attack. Yan Machen refused to give up like this, although he had to admit he wasn't his match. He didn't believe that they wouldn't even be able to last three exchanges once they joined hands. Earth and suction, Yan Machen shouted, and the ground began to shake. People felt a powerful force pull them down into the earth. It was like their bodies suddenly became thousands of tons heavier and they were unable to move. This was an incredibly rare gravitational move. The Central Plains disciples' derision faded, replaced with shock. This earth energy was extremely powerful. Even the aftershocks already possessed such power, not to mention the force that the tall man was enduring. It had to be at least a hundred times stronger. Your earth energy isn't bad. Not bad at all. The tall man's eyes brightened. Although it sounded like praise, it wasn't the praise of someone acknowledging his equal, and so it was no different than a slap in the face. Yan Machen was enraged. Earth Spirit Fist. Yan Machen roared and countless runes lit up on the ground. The instant Yan Machen attacked, the earth erupted and a huge arm shot out at the tall man. This was Yan Machen's strongest attack. He hadn't used it against Tang Wan'er, but at that time, it wasn't that he hadn't wanted to use it, but that he hadn't had the chance. This move had a long cast time, and Tang Wan'er never gave him the chance to use it, but now it was different. This tall man was allowing Yan Machen to absorb as much energy as he wanted so he could unleash his strongest move. Seeing this move, Han Yanchen and Wei Chang He, who had been brewing their own attacks, stopped. They were afraid they would kill their opponent, and that would be troublesome. Boom. Suddenly, heaven and earth trembled and everyone staggered, almost falling. Yan Machen's fist had smashed into a runic barrier. Shaking it slightly, all of the spectators could clearly see Yan Machen's runic energy being broken down by the barrier. The tall man stood within the barrier, indifferently looking at Yan Machen. Bastard! Break! roared Yan Machen. The earth around him trembled even more intensely than before. Endless earth energy surged toward him. What an idiot! It's like he's trying to make a bag explode by pouring in water, but the bag has holes in it. No matter how much water he pours in, it's useless. Li Qi. Song Mingyuan, don't learn from him, said Long Chen. Don't worry boss, we have brains, said the two of them. 
expressing the greatest difference between them and Yan Machen. Chilling Ice Slash, Water Dragon Attack, Han Yunchen and Wei Changhe saw that their expectations were off, and they also unleashed their strongest attacks. The two of their attacks were incredibly powerful. A huge water dragon and ice blade mercilessly crashed down on the barrier. Be repelled. The tall man extended a single hand. A terrifying force suddenly erupted, and runes filled the sky. Boom. Three figures flew back, wildly vomiting blood. Yan Machen, Wei Changhe, and Han Yunchen were blown back with a single attack. As for the tall man, he was still in his original posture with his arm outstretched. His body hadn't moved at all. How could he be so terrifying? He can send the three of them flying without the slightest effort, asked Guo Ran. Everyone was shocked. Was the difference really this great? Three peak experts joined hands but were unable to even shake their opponent? That blow to their confidence was a bit too strong. What he used was technique. His runes are very special, and he absorbed Yan Machen's runic energy without him even noticing. He's very powerful to be able to absorb his opponent's energy and transform it into his own power secretly. By the time they sense it, it's too late. It's like they just beat themselves. It saves energy, it's effective, and it's simple. In battle, each little bit of energy you can save gives you a greater chance of survival. So this person is definitely an expert, said Long Chen. This person was powerful and had plenty of battle experience. Compared to Yan Machen and the other greenhouse flowers, he was probably over 10 times stronger. With just great power but no way to use it, you'll just throw away your lives to your enemies. Now that we've exchanged blows, I can say that you might be able to protect yourself in the upcoming trial, but protecting others would be a joke. You'd just cause them to die. If you join my faction, I can make you my assistants and teach you what I've learned through my years of life and death battles. You'll be able to become true experts in the shortest time possible, said the tall man. What a routine. First, he gave them a slap, then he brought out the candy to entice them. Long Chen couldn't help being moved. That slap in the face even had benefits for those three, erasing the arrogance in them. Now through his condescending kindness, it truly was difficult for them to refuse. Hu Gishan, your appetite's a bit too big. Aren't you worried you'll get fat if you eat all three? Suddenly, a cold shout rang out, and a large man like an iron pagoda walked out. As soon as he walked out, everyone jumped in shock, even Long Chen. This person was huge, only a bit shorter than wild, but his body was incredibly wide making him not seem so tall. His exposed arms were as thick as a person's waist. The blood vessels on his arms were like crawling serpents. His muscles bulged intensely, and it was basically impossible to see his neck since it was covered up by muscles. His blood key was incredibly powerful. Overall, his body was like a volcano about to explode. There were faint runes circulating over his bronze skin. With each step he took, the ground shuddered, and his footsteps were like the ringing of a bell. He practically didn't look human. He was more like a human-shaped magical beast, appearing frighteningly fierce. What a powerful physical body. He's probably a body cultivator, said Long Chen. Body cultivators were extremely powerful, but cultivating the body was one of the most painful and bitter methods to cultivate. Furthermore, it required an extremely powerful constitution that few people possessed. They focused all their cultivation base on strengthening their physical bodies their bodies would be even harder than a treasure item, and all their moves would be backed by immense power. This was the most domineering cultivation method. That earth brat, you should follow me. Your physical body is not bad. You should be a power type. If you follow him, you won't learn shit, said that large man. For another terrifying figure to appear stunned the three of them. Furthermore, just at this time, a refined voice rang out. Stinky man, go and fight all you want. All the women can come to my side. Chapter 1015 First Encounter with the Flame Cultivator Translator Born to be a beautiful woman walked out gracefully with enchanting charm, but her gem-like eyes contained a repelling iciness, and her voice was haughty. Following her was a group of women, and all of them were beautiful as well. Another person difficult to deal with. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Why would you have to deal with her? Tang Wan'er glared at him. Long Chen rolled his eyes. She really didn't know how to have a proper conversation. Her heavenly Dao energy fluctuates around her, and not the slightest bit of her aura is leaking. That means her control has reached an extremely terrifying realm. Furthermore, that natural light in her eyes, it's clearly a sign of dense spirit blood. She is extremely powerful, said Long Chen. Whether it was the tall Hu Gishan or the Iron Pagoda-like man, they didn't say anything further. 
They were clearly familiar with her, and it seemed that they were afraid of her. Any woman with talent and looks can become one of my subordinates, she said. The women amongst the four regions disciples were delighted to hear that and rushed over to her side. Compared to the men, the women were truly a bit weaker. Now that someone specifically wanted them, they rushed over. Brother Long, what do you think? Should I go rely on this big sister? Xiao Ziyan walked over and quietly whispered to him. Xiao Ziyan was clearly probing his attitude toward her again. Long Chen could only thicken his face and say, This woman is a phoenix amongst mortals. If you follow her, you'll definitely learn many things that will be of great value to your future. Choosing her would be the wisest decision for you. He said it with a smile, but he felt that his smile was very fake. Oh, many thanks for your pointers, Brother Long. That's what I was thinking too. Take care. Xiao Ziyan smiled slightly, but a trace of disappointment could be seen in her eyes. Watching Xiao Ziyan's departing figure, Long Chen felt a few complicated emotions. Tang Wan'er lightly pushed him, saying, Fool, this sister is a good person, and she's talented with a high cultivation base. She clearly wants to join the Dragonblood Legion, so why would you refuse her? It's naturally because I love you too much and worry about you being jealous. Dislikable. I refuse to believe you. However, she still blushed. She was very satisfied with this reply. Long Chen, although I'm a bit petty, I'm not someone who can't see the big picture, nor am I a violent shrew who gets jealous and complains, said Tang Wan'er warmly, holding Long Chen's hand. Really? How come I can't tell that? said Long Chen. Bastard, do you believe me when I say I'll bite you to death? Tang Wan'er's warmth instantly vanished without a trace. She glared at him, looking like she might pounce and take a bite out of him. Yes, this I definitely believe. Long Chen nodded obediently. You bastard, you refuse to listen when people talk to you normally. Instead, I have to beat you fiercely for you to behave. Fine, Lady Wan'er, if you have anything to say at all, this little one will carefully listen, said Long Chen, putting on a humble expression. Be serious, this is important. Tang Wan'er hit him lightly before saying, Sister Menki said that I can't be petty with you over big matters, as that will influence your plans and affect the entire Dragonblood Legion. As the soul of the Dragonblood Legion, the burden on your shoulders is incredibly heavy, and each of your decisions could decide our lives and deaths. So Sister Menki said I can scuffle and quarrel with you, but at critical times, I have to express my support, even if you're going around picking up girls. Long Chen was dumbfounded to hear this, but looking at her aggrieved expression, he felt a burst of emotion. She was the most jealous of girls, but for Long Chen, she would force herself not to be jealous. Sister Wan'er, are you encouraging boss to pursue Xiao Ziyan? How magnanimous. Boss, what are you waiting for? The beauty is right there beckoning to you. Although whether or not you pursue her has nothing to do with us, it's easy on the eyes, said Guo Ran expectantly. I really will slap you if you spout more nonsense, raged Long Chen. From morning to night. This brat didn't think about any proper things. He didn't even understand what heat control was. Long Chen. Xiao Ziyan is talented with unlimited potential. If she joins the Dragonblood Legion, it will strengthen the entire Legion. The danger to each one of us will lessen a bit. I don't want you to make the wrong decision because you're worried about me, said Tang Wan'er, her voice slightly choked with sobs. Long Chen held her hand, his heart filled with emotions. A person's character didn't change. For Tang Wan'er to be able to say such words meant she really wasn't an obstinate girl. Women naturally didn't like sharing the person they loved with others. And if the roles were reversed and Tang Wan'er wanted another man, Long Chen definitely wouldn't be able to accept that. His refusal of Xiao Ziyan made her grateful, but she was also worried. She was worried about whether the growth of the Dragonblood Legion would be held back because of her. If someone from the Dragonblood Legion fell, she would feel guilty and she was worried Long Chen would hate her for that irreplaceable loss. She wasn't afraid of death, but she was afraid Long Chen would hate her. That was the thing she was most terrified of. So although she clearly didn't like Long Chen accepting other women, she still expressed this attitude. Foolish girl, when did I ever need to seduce women to strengthen my group? The hot-blooded brothers I have are enough to dominate the central plains. Long Chen gently wiped away Tang Wan'er's tears. Exactly, Sister Wan'er. You're worried over nothing. With us brothers together, what can't we do? However, getting back to that point, if there really was a beautiful woman who wanted to join, it wouldn't be a bad thing Aya. Guo Ran was kicked away by Long Chen. The only thing you remember is beatings, laughed Tang Wan'er. I'm talking seriously. 
that Xia Ziyan's talent is so good, and she's not bad as a person. Why not pull her in? Demanded Guo Ran, unconvinced. Long Chen shook his head. People can't be too selfish. She isn't someone that walks the same path as us. Why pull her in and ruin her life? We walk a path of thorns and bones, and our hands are dyed in blood. Our path isn't suitable for just anyone. Whether it's Men Qi, Wan or Zhikyu, or Chu Yao, they all don't like fighting. It's the opposite. They loathe it. But you all raise the butcher's blade because of me. I understand all your pain, and I owe you all too much. Why owe others as well? Long Chen. Tang Wan'er's eyes reddened. When you talk like a normal person, you make me happy. Long Chen rolled his eyes. She was getting less and less good at talking. The good atmosphere vanished with just a sentence. As they were talking, the disciples from the central plane split up, forming factions. There was a man with a mustache and light beard that startled Long Chen. A strange fluctuation came from him that caused Huo Long to grow restless. It was like the earth flame had been provoked. It began to automatically release its pressure. Long Chen looked at that man, and he looked back at him. He had also sensed Long Chen's existence. That man was a bit startled, but he quickly became calm. With a cold snort, a faint smile appeared on his face. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Perhaps he had just gained a terrifying opponent. This man also had an earth flame within him, and one that was extremely powerful at that. He should be a flame cultivator. Long Chen was startled. This person's body contained a terrifying earth flame, one that was even stronger than Huo Long. Furthermore, he sensed that his flame energy possessed no trace of wood spiritual energy. In other words, he was no alchemist, but a pure flame cultivator. Alchemists didn't just need flame energy, but also a trace of wood spiritual energy. Only then could they refine pills. Without that trace of wood spiritual energy, there was no way for them to control a pill flame precisely enough to form pills. That was why a flame cultivator's flame wasn't called a pill flame. Their flame specialized in offense and destruction. They were berserk and powerful. And normally, flame cultivators were the ones hardest to get along with, as their tempers were too explosive. Long Chen also noticed that the earth flame in that person's body had sensed Huo Long and had formed a clear hostility toward it. This kind of hostility was only natural between earth flames, because they relied on devouring each other to increase their own power. Long Chen didn't know if the hostility he sensed was from the earth flame or the man himself. Other than that terrifying flame cultivator, the other person to draw his attention was a gloomy-faced man. There was no sign of his cultivation base or his heavenly Dao runes. He seemed like an ordinary person, but Long Chen sensed an extremely dangerous feeling from him. He's a soul cultivator. Long Chen finally decided that he was likely a soul cultivator, but according to reason, a soul cultivator shouldn't be able to give him such an intense feeling of danger. Just as Long Chen was sensing these terrifying figures, he suddenly noticed a shift behind him. Turning around, he saw that the beautiful, icy woman had walked over to him. Chapter 1016 Ancient Art Translator Born to be that was the beautiful expert that had said she would accept all talented and beautiful women to her side. Now she was in front of Long Chen. More precisely, she was in front of Tang Wan'er and didn't even look at Long Chen. Junior sister, your strength is not bad. Join my faction. There's no need to rely on a pack of smelly men, said she. Long Chen was just a bit surprised at first, but her words made him frown slightly. The insults towards men that came out of her mouth were irritating. Her tone was icy, but her beauty gave off a feeling of innate haughtiness and grandeur. It made it so the dragon blood warriors were unable to express their anger. It was like she was an arrogant peacock. Although she was arrogant, she had the qualifications to be, making people feel like her arrogance was simply natural. Long Chen frowned but didn't say anything. It seemed that this phrase did have a bit of reason behind it. Compared to women, men really did smell more. But if men had to wear perfume all over their body, it would be too annoying. Being a bit stinkier was better. Me. Tang Wan'er was stunned. She hadn't expected this powerful woman to take the initiative to invite her. You don't need to have any misjivings. If anyone is threatening you, just tell me and I'll trash him. That woman glanced at Long Chen coldly. Her meaning was clear. Seeing her dense hostility made Long Chen even more irritated. He had seen countless people now, and with his experience, he could basically see through a person's character with a glance. This was a powerful but conceited woman. Whether it was in terms of power or beauty, she truly had the right to be conceited. But he refused to be threatened by her. My temper's not good. Don't think that I won't beat you just because you're a woman. Let me tell you, when I get angry, 
I even beat myself, he said, glaring at her without yielding a step. After saying this, he clearly felt the Central Plains disciples become silent. They stared at him in shock. Quite a few people had worshipful looks, while even more had expressions delighting in his misfortune. There were also some who had been prepared to see a good play like this from the start and were full of expectations. This brat's definitely dead. The Hundred Flower Fairy hates it when people discriminate against her for being a woman, muttered some people. This woman's temper was something all the Central Plains disciples were aware of. Brat, you dare look down on me. Who is she I Do you believe me when I say I'll twist your head off? As expected, she frowned and a cold aura began to rise. Suddenly, millions of flower petals appeared, revolving around her. Boundless pressure erupted. Each one of those flower petals had five colored runes moving within them. They surged into the sky, forming a huge phoenix. The phoenix was lifelike and even let out a beautiful phoenix cry that resounded throughout heaven and earth, causing countless people's expressions to change. That voice contained a terrifying spiritual suppression. It was like it truly came from an ancient god, making people have an urge to kneel in worship. Even the distant Sumo's expression twitched, closely staring at Hua Shiyu and the phoenix formed of flower petals. Two words involuntarily escaped his mouth. Ancient art. Long Chen was startled by this power. Although he had known she was powerful, he hadn't expected it to have reached this level. That phoenix behind her was like a powerful ninth-rank magical beast. In front of this inviolable Hua Shiyu, Long Chen indifferently spat out, I don't believe that, that made everyone from the Central Plains take in a cold gasp of air, was Long Chen really looking to die, Hua Shiyu's expression sank, her phoenix's runes lit up, and its powerful aura locked onto Long Chen, in that instant, Long Chen jumped in shock, he suddenly felt like an ancient beast had set its gaze on him, what would follow would probably be a thunderous attack, and he was just about to release his own power to defend, that's enough, do I need to explain that this is against the rules? Just at this moment, Sumo's cold voice rang out. Who is Shiyu glared at Long Chen, her aura not weakening at all because of Sumo's words. Long Chen glared back at her. His spiritual yuan was already circulating within him, and he was ready to attack at any time. He knew these Central Plains geniuses were on a completely different level than Yan Machen and the others. They were true experts, and once they fought, it would definitely be a heaven-shaking battle but he was confident he wouldn't lose. This was the confidence built up from never experiencing a loss to anyone in the same realm. It hadn't happened in the past, and he was confident it wouldn't happen in the future. Long Chen glared at Hua Shiyu, and Hua Shiyu glared at him. Neither side took even half a step back. Hua Shiyu's aura continued to rise. Long Chen was starting to be unable to endure it. If he didn't release his power, he would be forced into a disadvantageous position, and if Hua Shiyu attacked at that time, he would be instantly defeated. Just as he was preparing to summon his divine ring, Hua Shiyu retracted her aura, and her huge phoenix let out a cry as it decomposed into flower petals that then faded in the air. When those flower petals disappeared, Yan Machen, Wei Changhe, and Han Yunchen were all startled. Now they understood the true terror of merging with heaven and earth. A portion of Hua Shiyu's heavenly Dao runes stayed within her body, while another portion was merging with the space around her and they couldn't be sensed by others. In battle, she could release her full power in the shortest time possible. If her opponent wasn't ready, they would be instantly killed. This was also why Yan Machen was suppressed from the start against his opponent. This was the power of merging with heaven and earth. Furthermore, when they weren't in battle, that portion of heavenly Dao runes in the space around them would give them a close connection to heaven and earth, making it easier for them to comprehend the heavenly Daos. HMPH, I'll let you off today. Don't provoke me again, or you won't be so lucky. Who is Shiyu suddenly turned to look at Tang Wan or Junior sister. Come, men are never reliable, and being powerful yourself is the correct path. Thank you for your kindness, but I'd prefer to stay here. Other than that, Long Chen really is a good person. I hope you won't make things hard on him, said Tang Wan or. For some unknown reason, Tang Wan or felt some worship for this female expert. She saw another kind of beauty from her. So a powerful and domineering woman was also so moving. All right, if you have any troubles, just tell me. The Heaven Female Alliance's door will always be open to you. Hua Shiyu nodded and left. But before leaving, she didn't forget to glare at Long Chen threateningly. Heaven Female Alliance, said Long Chen as he watched Hua Shiyu leave. This big sister is very powerful. To tell the truth, I really am a bit moved by her proposal, said Tang Wan'er. 
Long Chen's face immediately turned dark. Girl, do you not have the slightest trust in me? No, not that. I was thinking of helping you form an alliance. Tang Wan Er stuck out her tongue at him. Guo Ran raised his hand. I agree with that plan. Gu Yang, seconded. Song Mingguan, I seconded plus one. Li Qi, same. Shut up. Long Chen raged. All of you want to go against me? You want to play this voting game with me? Stop messing around. The upcoming trial is not going to be ordinary. Start getting tense and stop spouting nonsense. These brats had all been led astray by Guo Ran. Instead of learning other things, they had become experts in talking nonsense. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Just at this moment, a man hesitantly walked over. At this time, the four regions disciples had all run over to the central plains side, wanting to find a good faction to rely on. Only this person came over to Long Chen's side. Kian Duoduo, come over, stay with us. Long Chen smiled. This was the person who had been peddling those miraculous and divine seeds. Many thanks. Kian Duoduo was so delighted that his voice quivered slightly. Previously, he had already run over to the Central Plains side, but none of them had wanted him, and so he could only return and ask Long Chen. He hadn't expected Long Chen to agree without saying another word. The Dragonblood Legion had never admitted new people before. Guo Ran, you bring him along during the trial. Long Chen left Kian Duoduo with Guo Ran. Kian Duoduo's power truly wasn't that great. No problem, brother. Stick with me and I'll carry your posing art soaring over the horizon. Guo Ran patted Kian Duoduo's shoulder. What? Kian Duoduo didn't know how to reply to that. Long Chen laughed. Don't look down on him just because he talks drivel. His power is definitely reliable. And as long as you stay with him, you'll be fine during the trial. Hearing that, Kian Duoduo was much more relieved. He didn't get the feeling that Guo Ran was extremely powerful. The Dragonblood Legion was an isolated faction now, but they weren't accepting others so they didn't affect the other factions recruiting. Naturally, no conflicts arose from that. Long Chen saw that the powerful Central Plains experts had accepted many elites into their camps, but there were over 30,000 disciples that had been excluded. These disciples decided to form their own factions since no one else had claimed them. They had the numbers, but not the power. However, there was no way around that. If they didn't band together, their chances of surviving the trial would be even lower. Seeing that the factions had been formed, the taciturn Sumo finally opened his mouth. The intersect trial can start now. I wish you good luck in surviving to the end. Boom. Suddenly, a loud explosion erupted, and the world changed around them. Their vision darkened, and they appeared in a desolate valley without the slightest life. Brutal auras crashed upon them. Before they could even figure out what was happening, furious roars shook the heavens. Countless figures charged out from every direction. Chapter 1017 Each displaying their divine abilities translator, born to be before they could even look around, tyrannical and brutal roars rang out, shaking their eardrums. Countless figures charged toward them. Those figures were all three meters tall with arms and legs like apes. However, they had long fangs and sinister eyes. Sharp bone spurs grew out of their elbows and shoulders. Their numbers were endless as they charged toward them with brutal auras. This is the intersect trial. You're currently in a sea of bone spur devil apes. To pass the trial, you must reach the end of the valley. This isn't a trial, but a true battle. You cannot retreat. So you either succeed, or you die. Good luck. Sumo's voice rang out in their ears, but they couldn't see him. Those countless bone spur devil apes had already rushed toward them, and they began to launch attacks right as Sumo's voice faded. Watch out. A-H-H. As soon as the bone spur devil apes arrived, their huge claws stretched out. Their half a foot long claws were sharper than treasure items, and in the first instant, quite a few disciples were killed. What startled everyone was that these bone spur devil apes were only at the sea expansion realm, but the sea expansion celestials were unable to block them. In the first collision, over a thousand disciples died. They panicked. The bone spur devil apes were too brutal, and many disciples had never experienced such a terrifying battlefield. Quite a few of them were scared witless. HMPH. A group of cowards. Even without any power, you ran over here to give your lives away. Foolish to the max suddenly, a cold snort rang out. That large and muscular man charged out of the crowd and let out a single punch. Boom. Terrifying astral winds erupted. A powerful fist image smashed apart countless bone spur devil apes. Forming a hurricane of blood in the air. Their blood wasn't red, but pitch black. A disgusting stench attacked people's noses as even the ape's blood was full of a brutal aura. 
That large man had introduced himself when recruiting disciples. His name was Fan Song. He was a rank 5 celestial, and this attack was nothing more than a simple punch to him. His power shocked everyone. The faction Fan Song had formed was called the Hegemon Hall. Yan Machen had joined the Hegemon Hall because he was impressed by Fan Song's power. Following Fan Song, the tall and skinny Hu Gishan who had defeated Yan Machen's group of three also attacked. With a single slash of his sword, a huge wave of sword key blew apart the bone spur devil apes. His destructive power was just as shocking. Hu Gishan was also a rank 5 celestial. His faction was called the Divine Beast Mansion. As for why he chose such a name, no one knew. His previous display of defeating three rank 5 celestials had caused quite a few elites to flock to his side. Han Yunchen and Wei Chang-he had both joined his faction. Not only that, but Hu Gishan also had quite a few ancient race experts in his faction. They possessed a portion of Azuan Beast's bloodline and were extremely powerful. Following Hu Gishan and Fan Song, heaven and earth shook as a terrifying heat erupted. A furious roar shook the heavens. A huge flame beast had appeared. It was lizard-like and completely formed of flame runes. It was over five miles long, and as soon as it appeared, space wildly twisted around it. A man stood on the flame beast's head, icily looking around, his eyes full of arrogance. Earth flame beast? He's actually merged with his earth flame instead of devouring it. Damn, he really does have the qualifications to look down on others. Long Chen was shocked by the power of his earth flame. The huge flame beast opened its mouth, and a wave of flames roared out. Those bone spur devil apes turned into black clumps that crumbled. Not only that, even the earth was starting to melt, looking like it was becoming lava. The flame beast's four legs were like pillars. As it advanced, the land shook. It crushed any bone spur devil apes in its path. This huge flame beast was incredibly impressive. It blew so many bone spur devil apes apart that the pressure on everyone else lessened by a great deal. The man standing atop the flame beast's head was the flame cultivator that Long Chen had sensed hostility from. His name was Xinian. The faction he had established was called Flame Gate. He had also recruited quite a few experts, as he was truly powerful. Just this one earth flame beast was enough to suppress countless experts. HMPH. Some insignificant bone spur devil apes are nothing more than fodder. Suddenly, an extremely thin man walked out. He didn't seem to have much flesh on his body, all skin and bones, appearing extremely odd. He extended a withered hand, and space trembled slightly. Countless insects suddenly appeared in the air. Those insects were the size of a fist and completely black. They had a pair of wings and huge pincers at the front that shone coldly. The flying insects directly flew at the bone spur devil apes. With just one bite, the apes let out miserable cries. Then their bodies stiffened and they didn't move again. Once they were immobilized, countless insects pounced on them and began to tear into their flesh. They were quickly turned into white skeletons. Seeing such powerful beasts be eaten in the blink of an eye, everyone felt a chill. These insects were too terrifying. The most shocking thing was that they were practically endless. More and more of them filled the air, and they eventually formed a sea that devoured any bone spur devil apes in their path. What? What are those things? Cried Guo Ran. He's an extremely rare insect cultivator. If you're stretching it, you can call him a beast tamer. But contrary to beast tamers, they walk an extreme path which makes them even more terrifying. If an insect cultivator wants to tame insects, they must use their own essence blood to feed them. Only then can they control the insects to fight for them, said Long Chen gravely. No wonder he looks like a corpse. All his essence blood was consumed by insects, said Guo Ran. Men Qi has said that insect cultivators are exceptionally rare. They not only need powerful soul energy, but they also have to be ready for their insects to attack them at any time. It's an extremely crazy method of cultivation, no different from playing with fire. Most insect cultivators are unable to grow, because without enough money, the majority of them are eventually eaten by their own houseboats, said Long Chen. Everyone's scalps turned numb. This was a completely abnormal method of cultivation. To use one's own body to raise insects, that was absolutely crazy. This insect cultivator's name was Wang Zhen. He was extremely icy and didn't talk much with others. Although he had also established a faction called the 10,000 Insect Guild, he hadn't spoken with anyone. He had left that to his subordinates to handle. Just as everyone was shocked by the insect cultivator, a brilliant light filled the air. Countless flower petals appeared as Hua Shiyu also took action. The five colored petals were like a beautiful wave in the air. They were incredibly dazzling, but any bone spur devil apes that approached her were torn apart by the flower petals. 
It was beautiful and bloody. Even Long Chen had to sigh emotionally. When it came to beautiful techniques, Hua Shiyu was definitely the highest level he had seen. Following Hua Shiyu's attack, a burst of cheering filled the air. It came from the women Hua Shiyu had recruited. The Heaven Female Alliance only accepted women, but otherwise, its requirements were low. Wang's Hen's 10,000 Insect Guild, Xinian's Flame Gate, Hu Gishan's Divine Beast Mansion, Fan Song's Hegemon Hall, and Hua Shiyu's Heaven Female Alliance. They were the five great factions in the trial. Of these five factions, the Heaven Female Alliance had the greatest numbers. Practically all the women had joined her side. Hua Shiyu was incredibly powerful, and most of the women had preferred to join a faction led by a woman. The feeling of being looked down upon by men was irritating. The Heaven Female Alliance had 130,000 members. Following it was Hu Gishan's Divine Beast Mansion at 90,000, and then Fan Song's Hegemon Hall. His charisma was a bit lower than Hu Gishan's, but just his domineering display and appearance had drawn over many people. He had 70,000 people. Fourth in numbers was Xinian's Flame Gate at 50,000 members. As for Wang's Hen's 10,000 Insect Guild, it was unknown whether it was because he wasn't famous enough or if he was too icy, but he only had 20,000 people. Other than them, there were 30,000 disciples that hadn't been chosen for any faction. Those people's strengths and talents were too low. There was also the Dragonblood Legion, which numbers were pitifully few compared to the other five great factions. Their numbers had only increased by one thanks to Kai and Duoduo. Originally, Long Chen had been thinking of bringing along the other disciples from the Eastern Wasteland, but the majority of them had failed the Outer Sect trial. The few that had passed through luck directly gave up on the Inner Sect trial. Long Chen, aren't you thinking of forming your own faction? Why don't you show off your strength as the commander? Do you only have this little ability? Just as Long Chen was about to call for everyone to change formations and charge, a beautiful and provoking voice rang out. It was Hua Shiyu. Even while displaying such a huge scale attack, she didn't forget to look at Long Chen. Long Chen was speechless. He asked himself how he had offended this woman. Why was she fixated on him? But being looked down upon and targeted like this, if Long Chen continued to endure, he wouldn't be Long Chen. Since Sister Hua Shiyu wants to see, then I'll show you my power. Long Chen snorted. One of the tattoos on his arms lit up, and a dragon's cry shook heaven and earth. A ten-mile-long flame dragon appeared in the sky. Flame scales flickered on its body, and its high heat roasted the air. Even the flame cultivator Xinian's eyes narrowed. He was unable to recognize the origin of Long Chen's earth flame, and he had never seen a dragon-shaped earth flame beast. But after a moment of shock, a greedy light shone in his eyes. Long Chen stood atop the flame dragon's head his robes billowing around him, his eyes were like stars, and now he seemed like a completely different person, he looked like an undefeatable war god, brothers, charge, don't let these city people look down on us, shouted Long Chen, Huo Long roared and charged at the bone spur devil apes equals common surname, Xin equals hot, Yan equals flame, sounds like, meaning stupid, dimwitted, uncomprehending of obvious things, chapter 1018 extending a helping hand translator, Born to be boom. Huo Long charged forward. Wherever it passed, the bone spur devil apes were burnt to crisps. With Huo Long leading the way, the dragon blood warriors roared, their voices shaking the sky. Terrifying killing intent erupted, and in that instant, it felt like space had frozen. Behind Long Chen, Gu Yang, Guo Ran, Song Mingguan, and Li Qi were attacking the bone spur devil apes that covered the land as far as one could see. Even the valley in front was packed full of them. Standing on Huo Long's head, Long Chen clasped his hands behind his back. There was no need for him to do anything as the bone spur devil apes were unable to stop the power of an earth flame. Seeing that Long Chen also had an earth flame startled everyone. Hua Shiyu snorted and didn't say anything. Just based on the fact that he possessed an earth flame, Long Chen was qualified to form a faction like them. As for Long Chen's people, although they numbered less than 400-300, Instead of using the most energy-saving wedge formation, they spread out in an arc as they pushed forward. They really overestimate themselves, said Xinian disdainfully. The five great powers were charging forward at the same time, pushing along with wedge formations. But Long Chen's side was clearly spreading out, so Xinian found it disdainful. Long Chen didn't even look at Xinian. He naturally had his own reasons. Many thanks, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. This formation was naturally for the 30,000 disciples that hadn't been chosen. If they still couldn't understand like this, 
then they really would be idiots. The Dragonblood Legion was cutting open a path for them. The other factions tightened their battle formations as much as possible, while Long Chen spread his formation to the greatest extent. Although these people were unrelated to him, Long Chen didn't want to just watch them die here. As long as there was still no threat to the Dragonblood Legion, he could open a path to survival for them. But this path was not so simple to go through. Although the Dragonblood Warriors were spread out and killing the majority of the Bone Spur Devil Apes coming from the front, there were still quite a few attacking from the sides. Those disciples were still being killed. Idiot. Do you think you're their savior? They're just trash. Or why would we toss them aside? What you're doing is absolutely futile. Sneered Han Yunchen from behind Hu Gishin. If you keep talking, I'll slap you again. Long Chen glanced at him. You. Long Chen. Pay attention to your tone. Han Yunchen is now one of my people. Hu Gishin's sword continuously danced in the air. Sweeping out sword key that easily cut down his opponents. You mean if I want to beat a dog? I first have to check with its owner, asked Long Chen. Youngster, this character of yours will make it easy for you to suffer losses, said Hu Gishin coldly, his expression sinking. Long Chen was ignoring his threat. Thank you for your praise. It's been a long time since someone has called me a youngster, but there's one thing you're wrong about. I don't suffer losses. Everyone has their own way of living, and you can refuse to acknowledge other people's conduct and even spout your nonsense. But remember, it will be painful when you get slapped by others. So don't complain at that time, said Long Chen lightly. Long Chen. Tang Wan'er looked at him. Go ahead. Long Chen nodded. Only then did Tang Wan'er appear at the forefront of the battle. Wind blades whirling around her. They rapidly spread, covering all the people behind the Dragonblood warriors. Within the wind blades, those people were temporarily safe. Fool. Seeing Tang Wan'er not hesitate to unleash such a powerful magical art to protect these disciples, Hu Gishin sneered. The other experts also sneered disdainfully, thinking Long Chen and the others were fools for wasting their precious energy on these hopeless people. That wasted energy might be the factor that caused them to lose their own lives. Whether it was Hu Gishin, Fan Kong, or Xinian, they all had a disdainful look on their faces. Wang Zhen's expression was icy like usual as he ignored them and focused on controlling his insects. On the contrary, Hua Shiyu's expression softened slightly. She wondered whether Long Chen was just trying to show off or whether he really wanted to help these people. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, seeing the Dragonblood warriors spreading out their formation as wide as possible and Tang Wan'er spend her precious spiritual yuan to protect them. Quite a few disciples were touched and even wept tears. Long Chen sent out Huo Long to attack while he turned back to face those disciples. You don't need to feel emotional. The reason I'm helping is because I was moved by you. Us. Yes. Despite knowing there was no hope on the Zhuanchen staircase, you still bitterly endured and refused to give up all the way to the end. That made me very emotional. To not give up under those circumstances doesn't just require willpower or courage. I see the determination in your eyes. The kind of determination to burn all the bridges behind you if have to. I trust that few of you have any status or background. So you came to the central plains with the will to change your fates. Looking at you, I think of myself when I was young. Each day I was powerless, mired in despair. At that time, I wished so much that someone would help me. I swore that if someone gave me that chance, I would definitely cherish it a thousand times over and put in ten thousand times the work of others. Looking at you. I see that same resolve, and so I came to help you, but you have to be clear about one thing, on the cultivation path, a person can only help you once, if you can grasp that opportunity, then grasp it, if you can't, it will be very unlikely for a second chance to come, right now, the trial has only just started and will become even more difficult toward the end, so listen closely, Long Chen's voice reverberated through the air, all the disciples behind the Dragonblood Legion listened with rapt attention, However, the others had long since begun looking down on this conduct of Long Chen's. Someone sneered, who wants to listen to your farts? Even if you have to fart, make it quieter that person's head suddenly exploded as a golden arrow struck him. Guo Ran had killed him in an instant. Long Chen, you're asking for it, roared Xinian. That person was one of the experts from his faction. Idiot, you really are fucking stupid. If you keep talking, then let's stop the trial and I'll play around with you properly. Now Long Chen was also angry, and he glared at Xinian. Since you want to die, I'll accompany you, raged Xinian. He hated it the most when people called him stupid like that. It was an insult to his name. Xinian, if you want to fight, don't disturb my faction. 
or don't blame me for the consequences, warned Hua Shiyu. That was because their six factions were charging forward side by side. Hua Shiyu was between the Dragonblood Legion and Xinian, so if he were to attack, he would have to go through her faction. Long Chen, just wait, snorted Xinian, but he continued forward. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Xinian's fury was fake, and he was just using it to conceal his greed. This little scheme of his wasn't able to escape Long Chen's eyes. Xinian targeted him not because he wanted to seek revenge for his people, but because he coveted Long Chen's earth flame. Once he devoured it, his power would rapidly rise. Long Chen sneered. He dared to place his sights on him? Good. Very good. Long Chen continued speaking to the disciples. You've also seen that the so-called experts are only at that level. As long as you are given an opportunity, you can also reach that height. In fact, you can reach even greater heights than them. I can only protect you for a moment. So listen closely. If you want to become an expert, it depends on your talent, the resources you're given, your origins, your master, etc. Of course, if you have a rich daddy, everything will go smoothly. However, you don't have such things, or you wouldn't be in your current straits. So if you want to become an expert, there's only one thing left to you, to put your lives on the line. Right now, that's the only trump card left for you. If you keep hesitating, that trump card will be lost as well. Think about those people beside you that were torn apart by the bone spur devil apes. They wanted to put their lives on the line, but they didn't have the power to even do so. If you continue to hesitate, you'll be thrown into the dust. Look at those idiots sneering at you. They're looking down on all of you. Are you willing to die just like this? If death is on your left and right, why not put everything on the line for once? Only if you are ready to lose everything can you one day trample those people who are looking down on you. Only by going all out, only by being willing to lose your lives, can you bring forth a glorious future for yourselves. Only then you can return to your hometowns decked in glory, whether it's for yourself, your family, your friends or whether it's for those idiots who are looking down on you. What reason do you have to not put everything on the line right now? What are you still hesitating for? Your opportunity is right in front of you. Each slain bone spur devil eight brings you one step further. Raise your weapons. Release your power. Shed your hot blood to show that you're alive. That your fate is in your hands. Kill. 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 Under Long Chen's emotional and impassioned speech. The cowardice and misjivings in those disciples' hearts were instantly stripped away. He was absolutely right. There was no way back any longer. If they still didn't put everything on the line, they would only die under other people's sneers. If they went all out, at least they would have more dignity. And they might even win a slight chance at survival. Why not go all out? Why not kill? Their roars rang out in waves, each higher than the last. Only now did Tang Wan Er slowly withdraw her sea of wind blades. The originally fearful and timid disciples raised their weapons with scarlet eyes, charging at the bone spur devil apes. Chapter 1019 Core Disciple Spots Translator Born to be those disciples finally saw the reality around them and made their determination to put everything on the line. In this instant, they forgot their terror. They only had one thought, to go all out killing. Long Chen's words were very clear. Others could help you for a moment, but they couldn't help you for a lifetime. If you wanted to get stronger. You had to rely on yourself. He could only give them a chance to take a breath. But this chance was exceptionally precious. He had helped them escape from the bindings of their terror and make their resolve. Yes. Just like this. Go all out and show those bastards who looked down on us just whose talent isn't high enough. What are geniuses there for? To be trampled upon. Use the weapons in your hands to give them vicious slaps in the face. Make sure those slaps are fierce enough to show your mettle. Encourage Guo Ran. He finally had an opening to raise these disciples' fighting spirit. By saying us, he drew them closer to the Dragonblood Legion. Seeing this group of disciples, Guo Ran and the others thought of themselves. Their talent had also been also lacking, and the resources they had were mediocre. It was Long Chen who had pulled them to their current height. It aroused their sympathy to see these people being looked down upon and tossed aside. The entire Dragonblood Legion had been thinking about helping them from the start. Experts needed a chance to become experts. In the same way, if they hadn't encountered Long Chen back then, then let alone coming to the Central Plains, they would probably still be mediocre existences in the Eastern Wasteland. So Long Chen's conduct inspired them as well. Even after all this time, he hadn't forgotten his original heart. This boss of theirs was still the same boss who made decisions according to his original heart. Once 30,000 disciples went all out, 
It was an extremely powerful sight. Once a person chose to put their life on the line, they would be able to unleash several times their normal combat power. Long Chen charged with the Dragon Blood Warriors, and the Bone Spur Devil Apes were slaughtered easily. Huo Long was especially powerful. With each fire breath, it killed a wave of them. There was no need for Long Chen to do anything. Behind him, Gu Yang and the others were slaughtering them as well. These Bone Spur Devil Apes were actually only at the level of ordinary sea expansion experts. The reason they had managed to kill so many people at the beginning was because those people had been too terrified to fight properly. They had never seen such terrifying beasts, nor had they ever seen a person by their side get torn apart. Even the ordinary disciples behind the Dragonblood Legion were dominating them now that they had shed their shackles of terror and were releasing their true power. Working together, there wasn't much threat to them. They started to get in a rhythm. By the time Tang Wan'er stopped offering them any further support with her wind blades, they were able to hold their own. Their original panic was gone, and within this slaughter, they gradually came to understand the feeling of a life and death battle. Seeing this, Long Chen nodded. He was a human, not a god. He could only do this much. As for how many of them could survive, that would be up to how hardy their lives were. Kayan Duaduo was following Guo Ran. He suddenly realized that every single person in the Dragon Blood Legion was incredibly powerful. They never needed a second move to kill a Bone Spur Devil Ape. Compared to the experts from the other factions, they were completely different. Their moves weren't flashy and grand. Instead, they were sharp and ruthless. Each of their moves were unleashed with the intent to kill the Bone Spur Devil Apes in the fastest, most effortless manner. The valley was a thousand miles wide, and Bone Spur Devil Apes crashed down upon them from every direction. They had no choice but to quicken their steps, because if they slowed down, it would become even more difficult. Each faction had sent their top experts to the front to open a path. Those elite disciples were all powerful. This was the only way for the whole faction to continue at the same speed. Within the Elder Hall, the Hall Master praised, This Long Chen truly is incredible. With just a few words, he dispelled their terror and roused their courage. Just what level of charisma does that require? Once the trial is over, the disciples that live will definitely become his loyal followers. It's unknown if Long Chen has some plan for them or if he really is so gallant. If it's the former, then his scheming ability really runs deep. He's already so powerful, and he has such a group of loyal followers. If he uses them for good, it could benefit the whole world. But if he uses them for evil, he won't. Based on what I know about him, although he doesn't show any arrogance on the surface, he is actually extremely prideful and unyielding. He would disdain doing such things. Furthermore, he cares deeply about relationships and treats his people very well. In terms of moral quality, there is definitely no problem, said Li Changfeng Novaloon.com since you're so sure. I'm at ease. The hall master smiled. No, no, I don't dare to say anything for sure. Although there's no problem with his moral quality, he's too stubborn. Once he decides something, he won't change his mind even in death. He's a master at causing trouble. With my frail old bones, I don't dare to guarantee anything about him, said Li Changfen with a bitter smile. We aren't lacking geniuses, but we are lacking good leaders. The five heavenly geniuses from the Central Plains have great talent and strength, and the Dao sect places high hopes on them. But now that Long Chen has arrived, the original plan has to be changed. The four regions disciples used to just be green leaves led by the Central Plains disciples. But now a few new variables have entered the equation said the hall master. In truth, the intersect trial was the playing field for the Central Plains disciples. The four regions disciples were nothing more than extras. Then the amount of core disciple spots this time. There originally shouldn't have been a spot for Long Chen, but our competition must be fair. If Long Chen really can keep up with the other five until the end, bring out an extra one for him, said the hall master. But the number of the core disciple spots has already been set, and the law enforcement hall. Li Changfeng hesitated. It's fine. Since we've chosen not to endure any longer, we have to be unyielding as well. We've restrained ourselves for so long that they think we're easy to bully. But still, it's too early to say anything. Long Chen's charisma might be strong and he has high leadership abilities. But in terms of power, he probably can't compare to the Central Plains heavenly geniuses. After all, their foundations are too far apart. Those heavenly geniuses are monsters and the power they've displayed is just the tip of the iceberg, said the hall master. Thinking about it, the other elders agreed. Although Long Chen might be at the peak of the four regions disciples, in front of the Central Plains heavenly geniuses, 
he was at too much of a disadvantage. But the hall master, Li Changfang, and a few others thought of something else. Although right now, Long Chen hadn't shown enough power to stand on the same level as the Central Plains monsters, the Patriarch had been disturbed because of his existence. In other words, things definitely weren't as simple as they thought. In truth, both the Hall Master and Li Changfeng hoped for Long Chen to put on a powerful enough display for the Elder Hall to fight for an extra core disciple spot for him. Helping Long Chen was helping themselves. The Elder Hall couldn't directly clash against the Law Enforcement Hall, but they could use Long Chen to display their tough position and establish their own prestige. The Elder Hall had no choice but to be tough. Otherwise, the Law Enforcement Hall would become even more arrogant and suppress them even more fiercely. Long Chen was their best weapon against them. Long Chen didn't know there were so many people discussing him. Right now, he was leading the Dragonblood Legion forward. The Bone Spur Devil Apes were growing stronger and stronger. After two hours, the disciples had advanced 200 miles. Now the Bone Spur Devil Apes were so strong that people died with each passing moment. There were too many of them, and they were unafraid of death. No matter how many of them died, they continued charging. It was like the only thought in their heads was to kill. They had no sense of terror. They were natural slaughter weapons, merciless and brutal. The six factions continued to rush forward. But what startled people was the fact that Long Chen's faction had the lowest mortality rate. After two hours, only less than 800 of them had died. As for the other factions, at least 10,000 disciples had lost their lives in total. The Bone Spur Devil Apes are getting stronger and stronger, said Gu Yang darkly. Even after all this time, the Bone Spur Devil Apes didn't drop in number. Instead, their bodies were growing larger and stronger. Even the Dragonblood Warriors couldn't be careless any longer. Suddenly, countless huge figures covered the sky. Huge leopards with a pair of wings on their backs swooped down. They were incredibly fast. So fast that they seemed like phantoms. A-H-H. -H. A rank 4 celestial sword was shattered with a single claw from these devil leopards. Along with his sword. Half his body exploded as well. Everyone was taken by surprise. These devil leopards weren't just fast. They were incredibly powerful. Caught off guard. Quite a few people were cut down in an instant. And panic struck the disciples. Several of them came toward Long Chen. Quick as lightning. Long Chen smiled slightly and extended his hand. Chapter 1020 Genius? Or Madman? Translator. Born to be these leopards were called Dark Devil Leopards. However. They were a bit different from normal magical beasts. These life forms were not from this world, but a devil world. The Martial Heaven continent had once gone through an unprecedented tribulation. There had been a battle of gods that had destroyed the world barrier and changed the terrain. The Martial Heaven Sea Ring had formed at that time. The destruction of the world barrier had allowed foreign life forms to invade the Martial Heaven continent. These bone spur devil apes and dark devil leopards came from a devil world. It was rumored that they were the original ancestors of magical beasts, the result of interbreeding with the wild beasts from this world. However, the odds of that being true were very low. The life forms that came from devil worlds were tyrannical, berserk, and only thought of slaughter. It was impossible for them to breed with the continent's species. For example, these bone spur devil apes had no sense of fear despite having been cut down in droves. The only thing they had was a desire to kill. That wasn't something that should occur in life forms with intelligent minds. On the ground, the bone spur devil apes were growing stronger and still attacking. While in the sky, the huge dark devil leopards launched vicious attacks. Dozens of them came directly for Long Chen. Long Chen extended a hand, and dodging the claws of one of them, he grabbed the skin on the back of its neck and swung it around, using it as a weapon to knock back the other dark devil leopards. What startled him was that their claws were extremely sharp. The one caught in his hand was lacerated all over by them. Everyone, be careful. These leopards' offensive power far outstrips their defensive power, warned Long Chen. They were incredibly fast with sharp attacks. Even if their defense was weak, their speed made up for it. Whenever they swooped down from the sky and fell into their midst, shrieks of pain would erupt. All the factions were panicked. Tang Wan'er flew into the air, wind blades erupting. She cut down hordes of the Dark Devil Leopards, but there were too many of them and she couldn't kill them all. When Long Chen said that their defense was weaker than their offense, that was just in comparison. Their defensive power was by no means weaker than an ordinary 8th rank magical beasts. The number of deaths in each faction rapidly rose. With each passing second, disciples were being killed. Now the difference between the disciples was made even more apparent. The Central Plains disciples didn't stay panicked for long. 
fighting all out. Although there were some losses, the death rate of the four regions disciples far outstripped theirs. The four regions disciples were being cut down one by one. They had never experienced such a terrifying fight, and their mental realms crumbled. Fan Song, Hu Gishan, Xinian, and Wang Shen didn't bother with the people dying behind them. They continued charging forward. Only Hua Shiyu extended the scope of her attack to protect the women behind her. But there were too many people, and she couldn't protect them all. Xiao Ziyan also unleashed her full power to protect them, showing the power of her water energy. But still, she wasn't able to protect all of them. People were constantly dying, filling her with pain. She felt profoundly helpless. She was a generation's genius, but in front of endless devil beasts, she could only watch as they killed these young women. Ziyan, just do your best. A person's power is limited. Don't feel bad, comforted Hua Shiyu. She had clearly experienced much more than Xiao Ziyan and had endured the cruelness of reality. To protect everyone was impossible. They could only do their best. Fan Song and the others simply charged forward without care. This trial washed away the weak, leaving behind only the elite. What they wanted was the elite, not the trash. That was why they didn't bother with those people at the back. Their goal was merely to open the way forward, and those that lived would be the people worth raising. The Dark Devil Leopards didn't slow them down at all. In fact, they advanced faster and faster. As for Long Chen's side, their speed began to slow down once the Dark Devil Leopards appeared. Long Chen was entangled with several of the Dark Devil Leopards, causing quite a few people to sneer. Once Long Chen's faction was thrown to the back, they would be alone and eventually exterminated by the Sea of Beasts. Long Chen was constantly swinging two Dark Devil Leopards in his hands. Suddenly, he tossed them aside, and he let out a roar like spring thunder. With a single fist, astral winds blew apart dozens of Dark Devil Leopards. This attack allowed the people following him to be filled with new confidence in him. Previously, he had been entangled with them and been unable to do anything, causing their hearts to sink. But now that he killed so many in one blow, their hearts lifted again. These devil leopards attacks are strong, and they are fast. Don't get in a tangle with them. What you have to do is kill them in one blow. They have two vital points. One is their heads and the other is their underbellies. Their skulls are extremely strange. Other than their lower jaws, they are completely sealed and treasure items have difficulty injuring them. So don't bother attacking their heads. Focus on attacking their underbellies. There is a row of scales on the bottom of their underbellies. Counting backward from the front, their seventh scale is their fatal weak point. That scale is just a decoration to trick people. It has no defensive power, and as long as your weapon stabs through it, you'll shatter a bead inside them that's similar to a needon, and they'll die. One or, give a demonstration. All right. Tang Wan'er formed a hand seal, and small wind blade suddenly stabbed through the Dark Devil Leopard's underbellies right where Long Chen had indicated it. What startled people was that as soon as these wind blades pierced their bodies, the Dark Devil Leopard stiffened and died. It had to be known that even if they were cut in two, their heads would still try to bite people, and their claws would continue to attack. But now, they were instantly killed. It was inconceivable. The disciples following the Dragonblood Legion only realized now why Long Chen had slowed down and been entangled with those Dark Devil Leopards. He had been searching for their weak points. With Long Chen's power, there was absolutely no need for him to do such a thing. He had done it entirely for them, causing their eyes to turn red. However, don't get too excited. With your power, aiming for that place against a rapidly moving target is almost impossible. That's why you'll need to learn how to cooperate and trust your companions. You'll need to learn how to entrust your lives to the people by your side. Three people block the Dark Devil Leopard's attack, and one person takes advantage of when it's blocked to launch a fatal blow. It'll be up to yourselves, shouted Long Chen. He had pointed out their weak point, but while it sounded simple, it was incredibly difficult. Furthermore, working together and entrusting their lives to others was not something anyone could do. Our lives were given to us by senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Why are we still hesitating? Brothers, charge. I leave my life in your hands. Suddenly, a large man with a hatchet roared furiously. He swung his huge hatchet at a dark devil leopard that was charging over. Boom. The dark devil leopard's claw slammed into the hatchet, causing sparks to fly. The large man was forced back dozens of meters, while the dark devil leopard was also knocked back. It was just about to use its wings to regain its balance. Just at that moment, a ray of sword key pierced through one of the scales at its belly. The Dark Devil Leopard stiffened and then collapsed limply. Ha ha ha. Success. Success. Brothers. Kill. 
cried the disciple who had launched this attack. The success of this attack raised their morale. People immediately went out to block the dark devil leopards, creating an opening for others to launch the fatal blows. They formed small groups to handle each dark devil leopard. As for the ordinary bone spur devil apes, their threat wasn't of much concern any longer. With this method, they gradually began to test and learn what cooperation was, what it meant to help each other. Only by handing their lives to the people beside them would they have any chance at surviving. They had never dreamed that one day, they would be able to place their lives in someone else's hands. They had also never imagined that someone would be willing to place their lives in their hands. After establishing this absolute trust, their cooperation grew more and more skillful. Even without Tang Wan'er, they were able to advance steadily. Although there were still some accidents, compared to the previous slaughter, it was a thousand times better. It's just like us in the 108th monastery, when we fought against the corrupt path for the first time. Boss taught us just like this, sighed one of the dragonblood warriors emotionally. What a monster. Is he the reincarnation of a war god? In just a few hours, this weak group was transformed into a real army. That's ridiculous. Chaos raged in the Elder Hall. These old fellows who had lived for centuries and millennia were all deeply shaken by Long Chen's methods. His vision was sharp, and his methods were brilliant. He was able to probe the Dark Devil Leopard's weaknesses, find a practical way to take advantage, and get these disciples to trust each other. He's definitely on the level of a war god, but it seems his temper and principles make him not suited for such an appellation, said the Hall Master. He had a special charisma that could make his subordinates loyal to death vision to see the smallest details, and the flexibility to adapt according to the situation. These abilities to control the whole situation were definitely on the level of a war god, but then he would occasionally do unreliable, rash things. For a sea expansion disciple to cut off the head of a king, the disciple definitely must have lacked some brain cells. However, Long Chen hadn't hesitated to do so. Looking at that figure that seemed to have the entire situation under his control, they didn't know if he was a genius or a madman. 